Alright, chat, I am back. Why is Throne... Hello? I don't want Throne just sitting up there displaying the entire... Well, I guess uh, Throne alerts are off, so don't buy anything off you of Throne. <laughs> yeah, refresh chat if you don't see anything. And also, you can earn rewards by watching me. Yippee! All right. Welcome back, chat. Let's try that again. All right, chat. When I go three, two, one, say hello. Let's see if this is better now. Three, two, one, say hi. Okay, yeah, that's almost instant. Okay, that's way better. All right, I'm glad I restarted. I don't like to restart, but I figure it's better to restart 40 minutes into stream. Oh, ti oh boy, better time to buy more stuff. Don't you dare buy things off the road. I won't be able to say thank you and I'll be mad. <laughs> I won't know you bought anything and I can't say thank you. Unbelievable. That is a terrible threat. Um, I also forgot to get the keys ready. You know what, chat? As a reward for waiting so patiently. Free keys! Keys! There you go. Also, can we get a shout out for Grinning Neko? <laughs> I hope you're doing amazingly. Okay, it is good to know that I have to have my fucking drawing tablet off every time I stream. Okay, um, I do need to change my outfit, though, because we are not doing main story quest in this. Hi, Big Bean! Oh, chat, look! There's the mom jeans! Oh, no! I'm gonna taunt you with them. Enjoy the rose does nothing, but I wanted to give you a flower. Thank you, I appreciate it. Wear the ERP chicken outfit? Not for plot! Listen, plot cutscenes deserve to see my beautiful face. Because otherwise you end up in really emotional moments. Uh, Kryl or Kaya? Kite. We're gonna hit the books first. Oh. <laughs> Why is Charlene so expensive? Coward? I am not a coward! I can't wear hoods for main story quest. <clears throat> oh, right! Someone wanted to find out if we can climb the statue. Let's find out. Let's check that out first. It's not that bad? Wearing the chicken outfit for main story quest? I mean, you're right. All right, can we get a poll in chat? Chat, do you guys want like cute outfit, ERP chicken or mom jeans? All right. Would cry if chicken outfit happened for main story quest? Happy tears? Happy tears, right? Oh, I can't climb on there. Let me climb through here. No! You can't climb it even a little bit. Alright, I can't see the pull, so someone tell me what's winning. <gasps> Keys? Keys? Cute is currently winning. Oh, it's not that bad was the cost of teleport. It's a thousand gold. I'm a broke bitch. I haven't been play. I haven't played in like a year. A thousand gold. Ugh, per travel. Nasty. This place is so pretty, though. It's very Greek and Romanesque. Also, I remember my basic rotation of like one, two, three, one, two, three, but I know that there's a way to get super powered and I don't remember it. Is it this one? 
Yeah, Grant's Life of the Dragon. And then I think some other things change when I do that. It's been a while since I've done high level Dragoon, but fuck it, we ball chat. <laughs> Take I didn't miss uh, much last stream. You missed my wonderful PowerPoint presentation and the first couple cutscenes of Charlian. Oh, she's cute. All right, the cute one. Yippee! Let's go. Good taste, chat. Well, now, this is rather a lot of stern faces. Are my library books overdue again? Not to our knowledge. We're associates of Kryle of the students of Baldessian. We seek passage to Thavnir and understand that you can assist us. Ah, the test subjects! Welcome, welcome! We're all, like, test subjects? What do you mean, test subjects? Kryle, what did you do? Oh, you hadn't heard. Well, then allow me to explain. So in order to travel to an Aetherite, you ordinarily need to be attuned to it beforehand. Otherwise, you can't use it as a beacon to seek out while you're a mess of Aether hurtling along the life stream. An inconvenient but incontrovertible limitation of Aetherite teleportation. But what if I were to tell you there's a way to travel to an Aetherite without being attuned to it? A way to teleport instantly to places you've never been! Oh, chat, we are, we are gonna, we are about to get the flied. This is, this is not, this does not bode well. Hey, you're gonna be our first test subjects of just throwing your ass in the live stream and hoping you come out the other side whole. For long years, we've labored to make such travel possible that people might move about more freely. And we've finally done it. We've created a new kind of aetherite that doesn't require attunement. Truly, this changes everything. Well, my language may have been a bit misleading. The user need not attune to these Aetherites, but the Aetherites themselves must have been pre-attuned to each other, thereby facilitating travel between the two points. Okay, okay, that makes sense. I can live with that. But it just so happens that the first test pair of Aetherites, one has been installed here at Charlian, and the other over in Yedlimad, a port town in Thavnir. So very, very convenient. You know this will work because this is the start of the expansion and you can't die! Can't wait for my arms and ears to change places. Suddenly you come out in Astinian's armor, him and Urian J, Urian J and Thancred and Thancred and yours. Listen, I would prefer to see Astinian in the leopard print bikini than Thancred, but I'll take it. As you may know, our nation has long maintained strong ties with Raz Radzatan, and indeed we owe much of this breakthrough to the contributions of their alchemists. So, to sum up where to test these Aetherites, how fortuitous of you. I should mention that an accident has impaired my ability to channel Aether. Will this be a problem? Not at all. As a matter of fact, you might say these Aetherites were made for people like your good self. The magics imbued within will whisk away you without any effort on your part. Now I want to play this game and marry the hot scientist in front of you, so weak to blue hair. Understandable, she's really cute. Uh, chat, smash or pass the cute scientist. One's for smash, two's for pass. A veritable dream come true, and far be it from me to worry about any such things, but do we have permission to make use of your shiny new invention? The only permission required is yours, so assuming you're willing, we're all set! It may come as a surprise, but we actually struggle to find test subjects. Most people seem to have an unreasonable fear of their souls gradually disintegrating as they drift helplessly in the life stream. In the statistically unlikely event that something goes awry. I wonder why they'd worry about that. Two, I only smash lizards and one cat boy. Oh, are you talking about the lizard with two heads? 10 out of 10 would be your little guinea pig. Mm-hmm, Pashley looks like the gentleman version of my warrior of light. Fair. So, Serp, Neko and Serp uh, brought a conundrum to my mind. There's a lizard that has two heads. And so, ch they, there were two questions. One, if the heads made out with each other, is it incest or self-cest? Uh, two, same question, like, if they um, jerk off, is it, like, incest, self-cest, or is it just plain masturbation? 
I'm thinking that if the heads make out, it's incest, but uh, jacking off is just plain masturbation. What do you guys think? Do they have two dicks? I think just one. Someone sends her, <laughs> I'm too poor. <laughs> Depends if they have two minds. The two heads have different brains. Well, I, te I guess technically they have three heads. <laughs> self cest and masturbation. True, that would be self cest not incest. You're right. You're right. Yeah, I think self cest and masturbation is my thought on it. I don't have a picture of the lizard or I'd show them to you guys. <laughs> Where are you going, psycho? Huh? Huh? Still wood? Bear. <laughs> incest... Oh, yeah. Why are we talking about this? Because we need to figure out, is it incest or self-cest? Because self-cest is it's yourself, but if it has two brains, then technically that would be incest. But you're sharing the same body. So is it just like, you know, you know? At this point, do I even have to answer in the first place? Answered before this or this before with Hydra girls? Yeah, because it's like... <sighs> yeah. You know, questions that keep you up at night. Two minds mean you're two different people? True. So yeah, probably incest and masturbation. I do think, does everyone unanimously agree though that if they jerked off that is masturbation and not like incest or self-cest? Cause like it's, they both feel like the same dick but you, you should be able to like jerk yourself off. I assure you these things do not keep me up at night. Weak. <laughs> I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. I haven't drank my coffee yet. But it's plain that you aren't most people. <laughs> Mistress Kryle surely knows how to pick them. Well, I mean, even if there's two dicks, how do you decide which dick belongs to which one? Because, like, if the dicks are, like, on top of each other vertically, do you go, like, I get the dick on top, you get the dick on the bottom? Like, if you both feel it? Follow up, if they're hooking up with someone and they're not interested in one of the heads, are they forced to wear like a bag or something? <laughs> oh my god, that'd be so funny. Hey, I'm having sex with my girlfriend right now. I need you to put a bag over your head so she doesn't have to deal with you. Um, stay quiet too. <laughs> I'm more concerned over how many therapy sessions I'll need to get over this. Who's weak here? I get to sleep. You ponder dicks and don't get to sleep. Past the point of the spine connecting, it's just their body. Uh, if it's connected to your nervous system, it's yours. I would assume the dicks have coloring of the head it belongs to. The heads are the same color. Other head just pulls out glasses and a book. Well, the thing is, you only have two hands. Like, the heads are the only thing you have, like, multiple of. So, like, if you really want to have, like, if you want to go at it, you're probably going to want both hands. Unless you're, like, the left hand is going to be property of the left head and is not involved in the sex. I don't know. One head's brown and one is purple. Uh -huh. It's also my head canon that one of the heads is a two-pump chump and it ruins and ruins it for both of them. <laughs> Had to grab something. What, what did I return to? Two-headed dicks. What's happening? Okay, so there's a lizard guy in Final Fantasy XIV that has two heads. Now, if the heads make out with each other, is it incest, self cess or masturbation? Or no, no, masturbation is the other thing. Um, if it jerks off, is it masturbation or any of the previous things? Concessions need to be made for the other guy not to bother them. True. <laughs> Anyways. Oh, that also reminds me. So I completely forgot to ask my chat after Ofkai, but all the guys at the table were having a discussion about something. I think it was like 6, 12, 24. Because it was donuts, beer, exercise, and sex. So there were four times. How the lizard has two heads, the rest of the conversation makes sense now. Exactly. It reminded me about a movie I saw long ago. Comedy about Siamese twins. Most likely come to the same thought of just sharing the partner. But what if one of the heads is like insufferable? Like one of them's like an insufferable git you don't want to deal with. But the other one's like wooing you. Do you like just be like, nah, I can't deal with you ever? You know? <clears throat> okay, so... I'm pretty sure it was like 6, 8, 12, 24. Remember these numbers, chat. 6, 8, 12, 24. You have to do all of these 
that many times, or one of these that many times in a day. So, eat donuts, drink beer, run miles, or have sex. Yeah, 6, 8, 12, 24. What do you guys put under each number? Like, what do you do the least of? What do you do the most of? Like, do you, are you like, I'll eat 24 donuts, but go for like six rounds of sex? Like, what do you do? I'm curious. We should wait for Don Trail to have this conversation. I feel like it'll be more topical. We'll have it again. Serp and I are going to have you on to talk about this when you reach Dawn Trail. Understandable. I don't drink at all, so... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was... It's either that or it's like... The first one might be a lower number than 6, but yeah, I'm pretty sure 6, 8, 12, 24. I also don't drink so. Donuts for carbs and energy for other activities. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like what what would you put under each number, chat, if you had to? Say you like a million dollars is at stake. You get a million dollars, but you have to do all of the things during the day. <clears throat> like, I don't know what I'd do, because I don't like exercise. I also don't eat- like, I don't eat donuts. They make me throw up, so I almost have to do, like, the six for the donuts. Uh, what are the other options? Um, six mi it's miles, orgasms, alcohol, and donuts. <laughs> yeah, miles, uh, orgasms, alcohol, donuts. Six miles, eight sex, twelve alcohol, twenty-four donuts. Mm -hmm. Run six, drink eight, sex twelve, eat twenty-four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't get to do nothing but sex. Zero beer, eight miles, twelve sex, twenty-four donuts. Oh, and you have to complete them all or you don't get your money. Also, speaking of, if I may change the subject, are Master Wolfson and Mistress Bloodwetta not present today? Oh, you didn't hear? They've recently resigned their posts. Their expertise was needed elsewhere. A large-scale project held by the forum itself, as I understand. But I'm not privy to the details. Oh, this is probably the thing that they're like... It's beer specifically, that's why I'm like, <laughs> Like, if it was just alcohol, I would be like, yeah, I'll do 24 shots. Yeah, this is Moonbreed's parents, and I feel like the large-scale project held by the forum is the reason they're not worried about the teleporized plans. I see. Any other questions? No, nope. then let's get going before you change your minds. Please see to your preparations and head outside to the Aetherite Plaza. I'll be along shortly. Uh, six miles, beers, donuts, and 24 sex. Beer, miles, donuts, sex then. See, I'm mildly surprised at how my chat is answering because, like, Phil was the one who brought this up and we're just, like, all the girls at the table were like, yeah, 24 orgasms. And he was like, men can't do that biologically. They're like, they're like, I would chafe. And we're just like, you're weak. You're weak. <laughs> and he's yelling about it. All right. Stinian, I shall teleport the tried and trusted way. Good luck. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak and chafed, right? 12 for that isn't outrageous, but it's up there. I mean, we technically can. Hurts after a while. Who said it was going to be the front? It has to be completed orgasms. Orga you have to orgasm that many times. <laughs> Can we get a shout out for Akami, another wonderful streamer? How's it going? I hope you're doing well. Um, we're talking about 6, 8, 12, 24. So you have to do these that many, like you have to choose one per number. Uh, orgasms, donuts, beers, and miles. <laughs> Came in during the completed orgasms. <laughs> Fuck. I hope you're having a great night. Uh... Big Bean, thank you very much for gifting a sub to Akami. Why are you panicking when you're the one that brought that up? Listen! Hi, Keyshawn. How's it going? I hope you're doing well. Hello. <laughs> Listen, I don't know. My ch unhinged chat topics are like okay when it's chat, but then when other people come in, I'm just like, oh, this, this is a topic I'm talking about. 
I wouldn't even be able to run six miles, so I'm screwed anyway, I answer. <laughs> and this is why 14 never gets anywhere. True, 14 are, you are pretty much just chatting streams. You started this? What do you mean? I'm an angel, I didn't do anything. <laughs> May I chat, please check out Akami and Kishan. Akami is another wonderful streamer. Kishan is a phenomenal artist, and I hope you guys are both having a great day. At least it wasn't a raid. Oof. Hi, Roland. Yeah, doing a 12 hour stream today. Fallen Angel. I don't have the angel wings set up on this model, but you'll see on the Say So stream, I have a an halo and angel wings and everything. The words unsaid yet weigh heavy on my heart. I shall devote mine all to our task in Thavnir. Foot fairies back? No. The Foot Fairy is not back. The Foot Fairy will never be back. I don't know what you're talking about. That doesn't exist. I blame you, Rama. I messed up my stitching and I have to start over again. I'm sorry. Was it the was it the fucking double lizard dicks? <laughs> Zeno! No! I can't believe you got another nibble. Unbelievable. I love how they're using the main eighth right in the plaza for this. Like, they're not even- they don't even have a special Aetherite for this. Like, what if they accidentally fucked up, like, other people who were using this? <clears throat> Why would you use a main Aetherite to experiment? Just the four of you, was it? Three. I'm already attuned to the crystal in Thavnir. You are? Oh. <laughs> I would have preferred more test subjects. <laughs> She's so disappointed! She's like, damn. I thought I had four. I thought I had four lab rats. Aww. Oh well, never mind. If our three travelers could line up here, please. She has such a cute voice. I love it. I'm ready for experiment for her to sci like scientifically experiment with me. I'll be your test subject any day. She's running away from it, bitch. Where are you going? Why are you standing so far back? I'll soon have you soaring through the ether. Hmm. Okay. Oh, and one last thing. You might experience a teensy weensy touch of violent ethereal sickness. Good luck. What? <laughs> She's like, y'all are gonna be throwing up and, like, dying on the other side. Good luck. The little cheers she gives after. Yay! Yippee! Zeno has nine bites while I have three. Y'all should have zero. Small amount of violent sickness. Oh, wow, that's actually really far. Oh. All right. Game could be a wee bit louder. Okay, I'll turn it up after the cutscene then. <gasps> Thavnir, home to city-state Rad's Athar. Rising from the southeast waters of the Bounty, this Isle of Plenty served as the battleground for a conflict between two peoples. Their cultures bled into one another until a unique amalgamation was distilled from the chaos in a process not unlike their precious alchemy. Once solidified as a single nation, an adamant stance of neutrality would hold invaders at bay. For a time. One was for my birthday, fair. Hi, Gripper, it's going great so far. Now across this vibrant isle creeps a fog of malice. What choice do you have? <laughs> what chance? What chance? Oh, I was gonna wonder if he'd be. A oh, oh my god, he got taken out! Rest in peace, Arian J! Against such an insidious foe. 
truly insidious. Oh, this place is pretty. It's so colorful. Ilabard Thavner. Man's just sitting there, legs spread, dick out. Oh my god, she's still s Oh my god! They're so sick! <laughs> I've seen fairer faces after a bout of bad shellfish. <laughs> Astinian's like, Jesus, I knew you guys are gonna get sick. What do I do? <laughs> Let me bring you something to drink. That should help settle your bellies. Hopefully water and not ale. I mean, she did say violent ethereal sickness. Very violent. And thank you for the sip, Gripper. a note with Kryle's instructions. Don't let Astinian roam the markets alone. He's alarmingly <laughs> bad with coin. <laughs> you know, I can see that. Because I feel like Astinian has always just had, like, whatever money he needs. He's just, like, I feel like probably an Ishgard, he never had to pay with anything. He's just like, hey, I'm the Azure Dragoon. I'm, the I'm like, leading the mer- Like, I'm literally fighting the war for you all. And they were just like, here, have everything you need. So whenever he has to buy something, he's like- He's probably one of those people who's like, what can a banana cost? Ten dollars? <laughs> what was that, ma'am? You'll fa this fail the say-so stream? The fail so stream is gonna be great. Don't worry about it. I will not be shocked even once. Estenian eight int wisdom eight ten charisma. I would say Estenian has a high charisma because I love him and everyone loves him. He's great. gonna have bits for shocks yep because you know i'm not gonna fail any of the say so portions so i gotta make sure chat has a way to shock me anyway <laughs> you managed to will yourself to your feet but given your condition will you be able to reach astinian in time doesn't take high charisma for your ass boom uh system sound oh yeah i have the master volume at like 40 We'll put the master volume back up to like 60. How does this sound, chat? I mean, it does take high charisma for your for my ass. All the characters I like have high charisma. Need an eye tracker for Rama Say So stream? <clears throat> Still got my 10k bits ready? Oh no. <laughs> Sadly, I must lurk to avoid spoilers, but have fun. Understandable. Thank you very much for lurking. I'm sad it's raining. I wanted to see the pr What is this bullshit? I wanted to see the pretty new sunny colorful area. And the game tell goes, go fuck yourself. It shouldn't be allowed to rain here. Oh yeah, I could put the voice at 100% anyway. Not this one. We'll put that at 90. It's like, welcome to England, motherfucker. No uh, stopping our champion. Now quickly find a Stidian before he... <gasps> it's the elephant people! I know them from the meme of, like, sometimes days are fucked. Was that the slower version? Oh. You're okay. Oh, what the hell? I want the fire dragon! Give me the phoenix! What the hell? Alright, we're gonna tune quick. Okay. Damn it. 
Hi, Howlins. How's it going? I hope you're doing well. I came here and I hear go fuck yourself, not you. Fire dragon is from the savage fight. We can all farm for after hitting 100. The cr lick the crystal. How many places in the game look like summer IRL? Uh, this is going to be said I won't be able to see most of that stream because it's on a Wednesday. Oh, I'm sorry, midnight. Yeah, that was the only day Serp could shock my thighs for me. Otherwise, it would have been Thursday. Mm. Don't worry, I'll be so say-so that you're not going to miss anything. Don't worry. You there, I need three drinks, something that helps with aether sickness. But by the Manusia, a traveler, I mean greetings, greetings and welcome. You are wise, good sir, to come to me. My special Amrelasi, made with only the finest and freshest ingredient, is famed for calming unruly bellies. What do you mean, what happened to stream? <laughs> what do you mean, Schwartz? By way of a warm welcome to Thavnir, I'm pleased to offer it to you for the low, low price of 19,800 gil? For not one, not two, but three bottles. A bargain amongst bargains. Oh my god, he's so stupid. Oh yeah, um, I ended up lagging out because I didn't realize my tablet being plugged into my computer would fuck my stream that badly. Even if it was on Thursday, still gonna miss a good bit of it. I work Monday through Friday. Fair. Yeah, chat, go check out Howlands, the wonderful artist of this model. <laughs> yeah, congrats on affiliate. Good job, kobolds. Bargain amongst bargains. Hmm. The price is high road robbery, and you want to say as much to Astinian, but you realize your words of war any words of warning you cry out would be accompanied by your last meal. You must stand before Astinian and use gestures, deny that the deal is fair. No. Hmm. I thought you could barely stand. What do you need to tell me that's so ur urgent? <laughs> Wait, I shouldn't buy the lassie? The merchant is swindling me? <gasps> S sincerest apologies, sir. I appear to have my prices confused. It's actually uh, 1,890 gil for three bottles of the lassie. This fucker. This fucker. You should give it for me for free after trying to add like two fucking zeros to that. Thank you for the sip, Jeff. Hmm. That confusion would have been quite costly for both of us. Very well, then. Your coin. Here, a bottle for each of you. Take them to the others and get some rest. Oh, I thought he was head patting me for a second and I was going to be like, <gasps> Estinian should stab him. That's what he meant by would have been costly for both of us. He would have got swindled and then just come back and stab the man. I'll be back after I've explored the town. I'm so sad that my first visit to Thavnir is shit weather. What the hell, game? This is supposed to be pretty. Oh. Too bad Thav isn't instanced. Boo. Reminds me I got swindled at Ground Zero in New York. Oh no. <laughs> Made with only the finest and freshest ingredients, this Amra flavored lassie is boasted to settle unruly stomachs. Praise be to the Twelve. My stomach doth loosen its death grip. My heart felt thanks to the Anastinian for the fine fruits of this land. Oh yeah, uh, Throne is, like, busted for some reason, so either don't buy anything or let me know if you do so I can thank you, because otherwise I'll feel guilty. You are in time. Excellent. You've spared us to Tara's wrath. Why are these two man whores depressed? They're sick! Listen, can't, do the man whores have, have still sick tummies? We tried too hard to make them pregnant, and now they are tummies hurt. You know? Tummy hurty. Sweet, sweet release. If you haven't already, you should have yours too. <laughs> 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 
It's gonna be really hard to do a say so stream, I'll be real. <laughs> Oi, why are you trying to nibble for that? Science experiment side effect. See exactly what I said. Where's that mute button? <gasps> you wouldn't dare to mute me. Right, I'm ready to get on with it. The lassie truly worked wonders. Back on your feet, I see. Th thy hair. <gasps> Aye, I've bound it. Tis the most I could do against this heat, sort of short of sh shedding my armor. There is no heat because it's raining! Fuck this world! Oh my god. Look at it. Why is his hair in a ponytail? Just so that I can pepper the back of his neck with kisses. Now, now the back of his neck is super exposed and kissable. Want a cuddle pie with these men? Understandable. Still little nibbles from Paper Mario. <gasps> Mute you and miss a chance to clip what you say out of context? Never. <laughs> Has he showered yet? It's raining hard enough. I think it counts as a shower. I can't wait until we see Thavnir when it doesn't look like shit. Have you, you've never dealt with hot rain, have you? Oh, I had when I was in Japan. <laughs> More I doubt you'll be say-so for the say-so stream. I'm an angel. <laughs> Listen, surely Bayonetta is a reasonable game to play while trying to be say-so. Mm -mm. Ten tentacles are also say-so. Yes. <laughs> Neko's gonna get beat up for the things he crimes he said against Xenos. That's what you get, Neko. There's no proof. I screenshotted it and sent it to Serp. I sent the screenshot. I have the receipts. Zeno, thank you for clipping. I appreciate it. Photoshopped? Why are you on Neko's side? He called Zeno's bland coomer bait. Evil. Evil. May I ask where you got the cord for it? A local vendor. Man said it's Thavnarian weave. Tough and not easily unraveled. And how much did it cost? 9400 gil, a steal, I was told. Tis nothing fancy, but I've always valued function over... 9,400... No, 90,000. 90,400 gil for a hair tie. Oh my god. Oh my god, this man is so stupid. He's so stupid. It's a perfect moment. <laughs> Everything right they indicted me. Gonna have to baby this man? This man is not allowed to have a wallet anymore. True villains of this game are the vendors, right? Robbing tourists blind. That's incredible. I dare say not even Alfino could hold a candle to you. <laughs> That's such a backhanded compliment or insult. Oh my god. Isn't the ver conversion rate of guild dollars like point zero? No, it's you knock off two zeros. So he essentially spent $940 on a hair tie. Yep. <clears throat> is he a himbo now? Oh, Astinian has always been a himbo. He was just too angry to be a good himbo for a while. Oh, be his daddy. It's not uncommon for merchants to set their prices high, but doesn't that seem ex excessive here? Are all Hanish merchants so unscrupulous? I expected the Azure Dragoon to put up more of a fight. <laughs> That's when Alfino spent a fortune on a sword. Man has only ever gotten equipment from the Quartermaster. Yeah, he has no idea how much things cost. I don't want to insult a Stidian, but I almost want to do this last one. On that subject, I shall refrain from making comment, yet I cannot help but observe the me merchants seem overzealous in their pursuit of profits. Claiming Thavner as its domain, the nation of Radzahan 
hath long thrived as a hub of commerce. In the beginning, there were the Arca Sodara, a Matanga tribe indigenous to this island. Over time, they came to be joined by the other races, and through their intermingling, a culture rich and distinct did emerge. From alchemy to textiles, the products of Hanish culture have come to be celebrated and coveted the world over. I do love all of their outfits. <laughs> Ariane I want to insult him, but he has a spear. A development only aided by the nation's prime location as waypoint twixt the east and west. <laughs> Torrential downpour! Chat, those of you who play 14, how long does it take for, like, storms like this to subside? <laughs> Should I just go somewhere else for, like, an hour so that I can come back to nice wet- Oh! It's stopping! It's nighttime, but it's stopping! Yippee! All this hath combined to make a trading power of Radatan. Yet such a status cannot be taken for granted. Nay, it must be maintained through judicious governance and stringent regulation. Neither of which I see any evidence, given that merchants at a gateway town are free to fleece hapless travelers and tarnish the reputation of the nation at large. Just so. The opportunistic pricing is rampant, doth suggest that oversight is much weakened, or mayhap that the people hath fallen upon hard times. Whatever the truth may be, it would be prudent to ascertain the current state of affairs. Prudent and practical, eh? We have not to lose by learning more. So ere we seek out Kryle's acquaintance, shall we see what information we can gather here? Excellent. We didn't exactly get off to a flying start, but we'll make up for it. Oh, you get extra, Lassie! Should have wore the Thavnarian dancer garb? Oh! You know what? That's actually a good idea. One sec. We'll wear this here. We are in Thavnir. Estinian's so fucking stupid. Is it truly so amusing to see my hair bound? Tis how I used to wear it, a fa functional fashion. Perhaps you were confused by how you found me following Nidhogg's demise. It had fallen loose after the Chirurugians removed me from my armor and put me to bed. I simply decided to leave it that way for a time, seeing as I would not don the Azure Dragoon's helm again. He's like, damn, decided to just leave my hair down for a couple months, because why not? <laughs> I should try the other diet. That is what high ponytails are for, so you may smooch the back of people's neck. <clears throat> of course I get hiccups. Right, let us split up and make inquiries in town, Rama. The pier is yours. Once we've learned what we can, we regroup by the eighth right, off-putting though the mere sight of it may be. You're sure short compared to him? Yeah, no, I am like, bro, I would barely even need to lean down to be dick second height. It's perfect. Size difference, kink go burr. Why am I like, chat? I feel like 14 brings out the unhinged in me more than other games. I have a problem. I, 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 why are you spraying me? I don't deserve to be sprayed. I am but a humble dragon. 14's where the chicken voice came from, so yeah. Gemstones? Huh. I don't think I knew about gemstones. Everything's so pretty here. Laden with fruits, but they're on the verge of spoiling as if they've been left for too long. So 
is really pretty. Gazing out from the pier, you spy boats moored off nearby islands, with the silhouettes of larger seafaring vessels farther away. Compared to other ports you visited in the past, there appears to be very little activity. <gasps> and Serp gave me- Oh, wait! <gasps> oh, I should make an outfit with the Thavnarian poofy pants. Shit. I need to do some fashion stuff, chat. I don't think I did any fates in Shadowbringers, I'll be honest. What am I doing? Oh, recording my sales. Still do it daily out of habit, though I don't know why I bother. Hardly sell anything these days. Business has never been this terrible, but I suppose things could be even worse. I could have a consortium to keep afloat, like Hazael. I don't envy his position. Better be left alone with my- Better be alone with my little operation, I've come to realize. You're a traveler, by the looks of you? If you have a moment, perhaps you could pay Kalzal a visit. He'll be glad from tidings from abroad. Like as not, you'll find him at the Saltman's Sails, the harbor guild building across from the water here. Thank you for the sip, Grim. Yet! There are Twitch drops right now. You can get a mount that used to be exclusive. Um, to if you got Butterfingers, uh, and some other things. And then if you get Mountain Dew, there's a lot of Mountain Dew stuff you can have. Oh, I want poopy pants now. Where the hell's this last point of interest? Oh! Well, um, oops. I didn't realize I could fall off. It's fine. I can swim. Unfortunately, some of the Mountain Dew merch is gone. I did get my mount, though. Well, now, if it isn't a traveler, you're a rare sight in these unsettled times. People have been giving us wide berths since that accursed tower suddenly appeared in Nuran Nair. If it just stood there and loomed ominously, perhaps things would be fine after a fashion, but no, it had to spawn fell fiends as well. We still have our lives to thanks to the Radiant Host, but business is as good as dead. What'll become of us? Only the gods know. Oh, shh. Where is their tower? Oh, there. Rip. Wait, is this famous Tiff streamer Rami a long time no see time to get it back to most play, baby? <laughs> Hell yeah! Hi, Ronan. Thank you for the hundred biddies. Yes, I am back in Final Fantasy fourteen. Are you ready? Are you ready? <gasps> Neko. Serp just told me some that. Despite the words you said earlier, your secret you, you love Xenos. You were also a Xenos lover. <gasps> you were being Tsundere. Oh my goodness. Hi Doug, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. Take her until next expansion to finish Dawn Trail. No. going is it catching up time it is listen i'm making pretty good progress we're like an hour and a half in and um we're an hour and a half in <laughs> i've done a couple missions doing very good did like one quest the damascans aren't coming but what we have already we already have everything they ordered. What are we supposed to do with it? I don't know, but yelling at me isn't gonna help. All I know is their plans have changed and that's that. Look, you must have known this might happen. The Empire's at war with itself, and the provinces are in chaos. And then there's the tower, sitting on our doorsteps, spitting out monstrosities. The city has its defenses, but we've been afforded no protection out here. We can't blame foreigners for not wanting to take the risk. Ah, but this will be an enormous loss! All right, all right. Forget about the Dalmaskans. Surely some ships are still coming. We have fresh produce, handcrafts, medicines, all the perennial Hanish favorites. 
Our consortium works closely with merchants and artisans to supply only the finest wares. Quality is guaranteed. I know all these things, Kalzal, I do. Which is why I regret to say I have nothing for you. All voyages have been cancelled or indefinitely postponed. Sorry, my guy. And you are? Wait, you're a foreigner, are you not a merchant? Please tell me you're a merchant. Oh. I see, that's a shame. I'm sorry, but we're discussing important matters. If you need something, please talk to one of the others. Um, excuse me. My name is Matsya, and I'm here to see Kalzal. Oh, he's so shy! Oh, it seems he's busy. I'll come back later, then. No, no! Come back here! Who are you? Don't be shy! Get back here! You seem sweet. Come back. Oh, also, I'm gonna change minions. I think I want... I don't have Graha at my side right now, so... Is there an Emmet Selk minion? How do I get an Emmet Selk minion? Have you seen the new cat minion? I don't think I have. Emmet Selk was anniversary event exclusive? What? No! By cat, do you mean a Graha minion? Otherwise, I'm okay. Tragic. Can you at least buy it on the Mog station? I need him. I need my Emmet Selk. Yes, can I help you? I remember seeing you back in the guild. You wanted to speak with Kalzal too, did you? I'm Matsya, a fisherman of Akyali, a nearby village. I sell my catch to Kalzal, who offers it to foreign merchants, but he hasn't bought anything for a while. I told you about the event while it was happening. Ah, I wasn't playing at the time. <laughs> I know it's my own fault, but still. I sell my catch to Kalzal, who offers it to foreign merchants, but he hasn't bought anything for a while now. When I heard that the consortium had been struggling, I became worried and decided to come see him. Just as soon as he's free anyway. He's a hard-working man and I dare not disturb him. Um, if I may ask, what is it you do? Two years- wait, two years ago? Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine not participating in the anniversary event. How can you capitalize on FOMO? Sim Fabian. I'll fight you. I'll fight you. I'll throw hands. I'll fight. I'll fight you. Fuck you. Can you buy him in the Mog Station? <sighs> Chat, don't forget to stretch. <sighs> Stop trying to solve your regrets with money. I need Emmett Selk. Listen, if it's Emmett Selk, I'll, I'll pay real money for him. If I may ask, what is it you do? An adventurer, you say? <gasps> you travel the world helping people. Then that must mean you're great at dealing with strangers. Please, won't you teach me to be like you? Aww. You see, I brought some fresh fish with you, me, the portion I couldn't preserve, and I want to sell them. The problem is, I'm terrible with people. I've only ever dealt with Kalzal, and I can't talk to customers without getting my trunk in a twist. Literal IRL cat? Oh, fun! So please, as silly as it might sound, will you not peddle the fish in my stead and show me how it's done? Alright, time to sell fish. Alright, I guess we're fishmongers now. The events to follow cannot be skipped. You may wish to cancel any pending duty finder registrations. Okay. <laughs> You'll do it then? Show me how to deal with customers? I'm in your debt. Right. Please try peddling my fish to Salvise. Three people here in Yedlamad. I'll observe you and learn. 
Thank you, Ablative, for the sip. I'm going to sip my coffee. How's your Saturday going so far, Fabian? Matsya is now accompanying you. I'm sorry, was that a flying rat? Keep him at your side in order to proceed with quest objectives. Uh, you can leave Matsya behind by entering a different area or by speaking with him and selecting the option to part ways. Okay. Going smooth despite having just woken up. Had to check. I don't even have Emmett. Alright, we're, okay, we're pedaling the wares this side. Oh, your footsteps are so big! So loud! That hamster, easy to get post endwalker. Fair. Hmm, yes. Fish, fish! I got fish here. Fresh fish, straight from the sea's bosom to your mouth. Um, I'm sure your bosom fish are very fresh, but this is rather sudden. I don't need any fish right now, so thanks, but no thanks. No! Never mind. It never goes well the first time. I'm sure you'll fare better with the next customer. I can't believe they don't want my bosom fish. Chat, don't you, like, but I, who the fuck wouldn't want my bosom fish? Fish, fish, get your bosom fish here. No, I wouldn't. Looking at the mount list, do you have Zircon? I don't know. What do you mean, no, and I wouldn't? What's wrong with my bosom fish? Huh? They're fresh. Fresh from my bosom into this man's mouth. <laughs> Unbelievable. This man, that man has no taste. A hawker, are you? Do you sell fruit by any chance? If so, I want to buy some Amra. Let's say a dozen. They don't need to be export quality. Amra Shmarma. My fresh fish are the only thing you need. What do you need so many Amra for? Why, for eating, of course. It may seem like a lot, but of late I go through that much in no time at all. I'm a stalker by trade, but with no vessels coming in these days, the wares are beginning to pile up. By the same token, nothing is coming in from overseas, but not a day goes by that someone doesn't come asking when the next shipment is arriving for this and that and this and that. All of it wears me down and I find myself feeling constantly hungry. Are you sure you're actually hungry? Oh, I know how you feel. Thank you. A pity you don't sell fruit, but I enjoyed our chat. It took my mind off our troubles for a moment. No! What? Shit! <laughs> chat, am I bad? Am I bad at selling? <laughs> am I bad at selling? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah! Chat, chat, for just five gifted subs, you can make me do five squats straight from my bosom into your stream content. I wonder if you're just not gonna sell anything? I, what does the quest do if you don't manage to sell anything? <laughs> oh God, are we gonna find out? What do you mean, time to leave? Back the clockward Solus minion costs five. <gasps> oh, I'd pay five dollars for Emmett Selk. I got them sold when I did it. What do you mean? Fuck you. Ah, uh, I'll just find the cat another time. I want to focus on store. I'm sorry. Hello. Where the. Where the fuck is the person? How do I get in here? Where are you? Where the th who the fuck are we selling this to? Hello? Why are you all the way back here? Alright, take care. Good luck with your missions. Aha! 
What is this? I'm so afraid that I'm not going to manage to sell any of them. I sold all the fish, so I don't know. You mean you didn't tell them to that you didn't try to sell them your bosom fish? I thought it was scripted to f Sold all but one? What is it? If you don't mind, I'm rather busy. Oh god, my stomach. Ugh. Aether sickness. No, no. Nothing so unusual. In my hurry to get back to work, I just ate a little too quickly. Some fresh fish will settle your stomach, and mine are the freshest of all. You should take it easy. Eat more slowly. Savor your food. Fresh fish will save you. Oh, food is the last thing I need right now. Go your sell your f Shit! I didn't sell any of them! Never mind, we just approached him at a bad time, and timing is everything, yes? Thank you so much for your demonstration. It was truly an eye-opening experience. Come, let us return to the pier. Shut up! Don't you fucking look at me with your judgmental eyes, chat. I f- You disappointed, Matsya? You're a horrible person. I didn't mean to. They're our default eyes. Well, they're terrible and judgmental. He learned what not to do. <laughs> Selling our fish to a man who ate too fast would surely work. Shh, dishonor on your cow. Fuck your cow. Matsya will remember this. Who would want more food after eating too much food? Well, I didn't think being like, damn, your tummy hurts. You need to learn how to eat better would work. Y'all in your judgmental eyes. Read the prompt? I did! Thank you so much for showing me how to talk to customers. Though you didn't manage to sell any fish in the end. But the way you fearlessly approach strangers gave me much courage. <laughs> He's like, damn, the way you were willing to go up and be an idiot to people with your whole chest out? Inspiring. 10 out of 10. I feel more- I can- I can do better than you. I feel better. Really gave the bless your heart. <laughs> Pain. <laughs> oh, Matsya. I'm sorry. You fucked up so bad, but still were courageous. I'll learn the courageous part. Listen, sometimes when you see an idiot, like, just do shit that you're too embarrassed to, you're like, damn. I could do better than that. I will wait to progress the story. I feel like if we had our full chest out, we could have made some sales. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think we could because listen, I offered them my bosom fish and they said no. You sold zero fish? Okay, let's try this again. Chat, chat, chat. Okay, chat, listen, listen. I know... Y'all must be hungry right about now. Like, it's approaching lunchtime. You know? You know? What if... Just... Um... <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> you offered them sea bosom fish, not yours? Lunch is already on the stove. <laughs> If I look at you with teary eyes, can I get- will you gift five subs to buy five fish <laughs> out of pity? Will you buy pity fish if I cry at you, chat? Will you buy pity fish? No, 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 no! I can't even sell pity fish! I will gift you five subs to stop trying to sell me that disgusting thing. Sold. <laughs> you killed my family. My family's the fish. Uh, oops. Listen, what a way to go. Um, I mean... S <laughs> 
Fabian, thank you for the five gifted. Um, fish? What fish? Didn't know it. <laughs> Can we get some hearts in chat for the sub bomb? Now go away with your fish. All right. <clears throat> no more fish. I'm going to go. We're going to hop. We're out of the, As soon as this cutscene's over, we're going to go hop in the water, wash the fishy juices off the bosom and continue with the story. <laughs> Though you didn't manage to sell any fish in the end, the way you fearlessly approached strangers gave me courage. Also, uh, exercise redeems are back on the menu, so I'm going to stand up and do five squats. Ah. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. To be fair, you had the, if you had the mom jeans, you could have made the sale. Still refuse to do push-ups for her life? I do. Listen, I will only do push-ups if it's the people's choice, which is like 50k points. <laughs> Maybe if you had the mom jeans, you could make the sale? Maybe. But this has, this is cuter than mom jeans. You still smell like fish? No, I won't. When I peddle my wares, I'll remember your example and endeavor to be fearless too. Glad I could help. Still, there's only so much I can do alone. I hope things will return to normal for Kalzal soon. I thought I heard a familiar voice, and who should it be but Matsya? Oh, who should it be but Matsya? Oh, are they meant to be paused? Oh, no, you can unpause them. I turned them back on. I didn't realize they were still paused. <laughs> yeah, I, I added them back in from the channel point, like, reward menu. Whoops. Yeah, you can unpause the exercise rewards. I didn't realize they were still paused in the mod chat in the mod section. Whoops. Don't you ask me. I'm trying to do plot. Back on. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. I thought they were on on channel points, too. Teehee. Kazal, have you finished your business at the guild? So you were there too. Forgive me, try as I might, I can't find any buyers. With no ships coming in and hardly any going out, there simply aren't any options at this rate. So you can't buy my fish anymore? I'm sorry, Matsya, I truly am, but for now you must peddle your own goods. Oh, but by myself I can't. He's so sweet. I want to hug him. I love how these games are like wars on the horizon. Let's try selling some fish. I want to help you. I do. But as it stands, I can barely help myself. Gotta always put on your own oxygen mask first. I've poured my all into the consortium and I'll be damned if I let it fall apart. I have friends and families depending on me. I can't. I won't fail them. The sisters as my witness. Kalza. Not to worry. Using what I've learned from you, I'll sure I'll manage somehow. Well, I best return to my village. My thanks again, and please take care on the road. His future is doomed? No! He learned from us, Fabian. Fabian, he learned how to be courageous. That's why it's... You shut your whore mouth, how dare you? What is quest sync? Horse chestnut ring coffer. You're rubbing the smell on his back and smiling at you through the pain. You know what? We don't we don't need you. Goodbye. We're not we're not doing anything but main story quest for now. Ram sure did teach him a lot. Mm hmm Oh right. One sec, just gotta make Gotta make sure we get all the fish off my bosom. Ah, thrown back into the ocean and now all is well. Sink to your level so you don't get trash XP at higher levels. Ah, that's new. It means the quest level for the quest is sink to your current level. Fair. God. What is it about people who don't normally wear their hair in ponytails where wearing their hair in ponytails just looks so much hotter? There you are. Gotten over the aether sickness, have you? At least you can't fail setting fish in a main story quest since it's scripted. Shut up, Doug! I see you've been busy. Managed to learn a tidbit or two? 
I see. We also heard the towers affecting many locals' livelihoods, but to think it would be to such an extent. Hi, Alicia. Hello. For another notable, if not wholly unexpected discovery, disappearances and kidnappings are disturbingly commonplace. As before, the cul culprits are almost certainly tempered imperial soldiers. And as before, they mean to use the faith of their hapless thralls to call forth a luminar primal. Business as usual for the Talafari. As a straight man, I can confirm men with ponytails are hot. Mm-hmm. It's like, why are you exposing the back of your nape like a slut? Because you want it to be smooched? Because you want it to be peppered with little kissies? Helping a struggling fisherman you only just met to peddle his catch. Yes, you would do something like that. Shush. That Matsya fellow you were helping. He's an... Arcasodara, is he not? Look at this size difference, chat. Oh my god. Listen! If I just wrap my legs around his waist, we could look at each other at eye level. I feel like he should lift me up so I can do that. Much easier to talk that way. Apparently, it is almost exclusively as people that are being kidnapped. Should he be traveling alone? I have a single short joke. You may. Hamster moment. Yeah, not even a male Ara or Vera. I mean, the male Elizans are really tall. If summoning is this perpetrator's aim, it doth stand to reason that our Sodara would be their primary targets. For it is the faith of their ancestors which prevaileth in this land, and many are devout adherents still. <coughs> Hi, Supreme. Isn't that how you look at anyone? Everyone? Excuse me. I am five foot seven and a half. I don't have to look up that much to almost anyone. <clears throat> We'd better go after him. Akiali lies to the west, as I recall. The same direction as Kral's acquaintance, incidentally. It's settled then. Keep your eyes peeled while we make for the village. <laughs> Still pick you up and uh, I'll fight you. Femal Ra's are the shortest race besides literal dwarves. Yeah. Listen. It helps me enjoy size difference. Um, are there more eighth? Oh, there's just the big eighth, right? <gasps> Am I gonna have to do aether currents here? Damn it. It's been a while since I had to deal with aether currents. Oh, right. I should probably... Where is... Um, I think it's actions and traits. Just general... General. Where is the one that... Travel? Aether currents. We're gonna put that on my taskbar. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted the thing that lets you look at aether currents. Oh, I'm not even allowed to look at them yet. Never mind. Oh, why do I- I have the fat cat minion or the fat cat on my taskbar twice. Need to find one first. Uh, so we have Torgal. Oh, I'm vibing with this music. A polar bear. Fenrir, Regalia. I'm gonna favor- let's favor you. We'll also favor the Mount Zoo. I like this one. I like all the wolves. I like the fatter cat. Hmm, what one should I use, chat? You need to find one first? Ew. You had my, I had my minions set to random for the most part. I had, that's wild that any of, I feel like all the mounts should be the same speed. FF7 Venra bikes what most people use for the new expansion. It doesn't need a riding map to go faster. Huh. I might. We'll see. Because the thing is, I really like these things that MJ grabbed for me. Look at them. Oh, I can't fly. Like, look at my fire Heelys. And look how cute this cat is. 
So, like, well, I could go faster. I could also sit on a void scent abomination. Also, I really like the graphics update. I'm so fucking pretty. Alright. Also, whenever I pull out the bike, I want to be in my, like, le leather. You did not see Mas Matsya nearby, but the elevated ground up ahead may provide a better venue. Uh, duty collections, not your key items? That's stupid. Makes sense. That's fair enough, though. Uh, 286 West. Okay, that's actually pretty close. We'll go there real fast. So you can't toss it? Ah, uh, fair enough. 170 Northwest. Ninety two pure west. I'll be honest, I'm glad you're genuinely enjoying the MMORPG and the plot. I am! Oh no 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 no. No fighting me. Fuck you. Where the fuck is the aether current? It's somewhere around this hill. What do you want for lunch? Ooh. Oh there it is! Um, honestly, I could really go for a beef rice bowl. That or tacos, probably. Hi, Astral. Try and return to the 14 streamer. Yeah! Yeah, it's been a while since I've done 14, but I do have well over a thousand hours in this game. Grilled hot dogs for me. Ooh. Tasty as hot dogs are. Got you, I'll do it in a few hours. Thank you. That'll probably be dinner, because I am planning on eating lunch in the next half hour or so. Because <laughs> it is almost noon. <laughs> Said I wouldn't use any mounts in Dawn Trail beside my personal chocobo. Wanted to bond with him. Sometimes I forget I have a chocobo. Want me to do it sooner? Uh, yeah, honestly, honestly, if you want to grab me lunch, that would be an amazing, probably be an ideal time because it'll probably take like half an hour to an hour to get here. I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> you not see Matsya from here either. No, leave me alone. Help, somebody help. Came from the north. They're kidnapping my boy. Fire Healy's to the rescue! Actually, do you guys want to see my chocobo? I should probably show him to you. Not me trying to remember how to get my fucking chocobo out. Where's my own chocobo? What is he under? <laughs> Memes have ruined me every time I hear my boy I think of the stupid father help bit. <laughs> Hitting mac and cheese with bacon bits. Ooh. That code should be your first mount. Okay. This is my guy. His name is Blitz. He's purple. Oh, right, you use Gishel Greens so that they... Right. Right! This is how you summon them to hang out with you! Isn't he cute? I made chicken dinner with... Chocobos are friends, not food! Oh my god. That was so loud that scared the shit out of me! <laughs> 
Midnight, thank you so much for grabbing me lunch. I appreciate it. Can we get some hearts in chat for Midnight grabbing me lunch for my 12 hour? Let's go. Chocobos are choco bros, right? Big chickens, choco nuggies. No! Can say the literal same thing about actual chickens? No. If they were red, then I'd say you made Blitzo. I've <laughs> been leveling my boy. Poo yourself? No! <laughs> All right, I should keep using this. Oh, no, thank you. That is- oh my god, fuck off! That is an angry-looking elephant. No, go away. Go away. What? They have a hippo! Where do I get a hippo? I want a hippo! <laughs> thank you, Midnight Endwalker. Damn. You know, I don't remember how to get into, like, the little dragon eye section, but otherwise I'm not doing too badly. Because I know there's a way to activi activate, like, where you're just like, huzzah, I get better dragoon attacks, but I completely forgot how to do that. It's been a while. You're so cool. Gazoon type. <laughs> should start thinking on what to eat soon. I only had coffee, but it was heavy, so I did get hungry from it. You should absolutely get some food, too. Feed yourself. Make sure to eat. No longer need to use Jump and Mirage Drive to trigger it. Huh. Well, you still need to trigger it somehow, right? Because otherwise I would have it, right? Where did they go? Why are you here? Do Dragoons jump high? They jump very high. I see you found them in time. Aeon, no! You and your friends came to look for me? I don't know how to thank you. On my way home, I took a moment to stop and rest. Think about what to do about, well, everything. And then those men came. Kidnappers, we heard the Ar Arca Sodara were being targeted. Surely you have as well. Perhaps it's best if you took refuge in the city. I've considered it, me and the others, but fishing is all we know. The ocean is all we have. I see. That's your decision to make, but you should take care not to travel alone. A question, if I may. Tis our understanding that strange fiends have emerged from the tower. What canst thou tell us of these beings? <clears throat> not much, I'm afraid. I have no idea what they are. But I've heard some bear an unsettling resemblance to our divinities. A new trial upcoming. I'm going to have to learn how to play and maybe get some people to play with me. For that reason, some have taken to calling the Dahour Zot. House of Divinities in the old tongues, it means. <laughs> but they're not true divinities. They're monstrous imitations that bring only death. To have one's faith so twisted is a grievous indignity and full justified of art thou in thine outrage. Know that tis no for, no for no other purpose than to neutralize the tower that we have journeyed to this land. In time we may be forced to contend with these false gods, and thus we would learn all we may about them. Wilt thou not tell us of thy divinities and their true nature? You- you come all the way to save us? Really? To think I had you peddling fish? <laughs> uh... Arrive mod check did someone say meow bonk the streamer? No bonking the streamer! Valkyrie, thank you so much for the subscription in the four heckin' months. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, well, you're a dragoon. No one will be surprised if you're eating AoEs like it was bought on Treat Street. Shut your mouth. <laughs> think you're just cooking up some uh, thick bacon and pan fry it with some vegetables. Ooh, that sounds good. Why are you spraying me? Hey, 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 I have done nothing horny. I have, I have been very calm for at least the last, like, ten minutes. Hey, no bug. Hey, 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 hey. This is rude. This is, this is rude. Mm -mm. Also, I love that he's like, oh my god, I thought you were an idiot. You couldn't even peddle fish. But you know what? This makes sense now. 
But to answer your question, yes, of course, we'll gladly tell you about our gods. We, I say, because I'm a terrible storyteller. And I'd ask my fellow villagers to do it. So please, come to our village. We're good God-fearing folk, all of us, and would be honored to share our knowledge. And fish. So I actually don't like fish at all. I wouldn't have bought fish either. What sayest thou? Shall we pay a visit to Akyali? Thank you for the head pads. Those are much more welcome. Wonderful. Just follow the road west and down the hill. You can't miss it. Give Dragoon some respect. If their kit means anything, it's that they're committed to the bit and can't cancel or back out like their skills. God fearing is always a weird flex to me. Yeah, I hear that in real life and I'm like, mm, I gotta go. In game, I'm like, okay. Like, we're gonna kill his god, so it's a little awkward, but... <laughs> Thank you for lurking, Ablative. Lurkers are loved. Enjoy your lunch. Also, I finally got caught up on Kaiju Number 8 anime, and oh my god. I love Kaiju Number 8 so fucking much. So, tis the simulacra of the Thavnarian gods that are being summoned. If any doubt existed before, there can be none now. The kidnapped Hanish are imprisoned in the tower. It was good. I'm glad you talked me into it. So good. Right? It's so good. I ended up getting, there's a Kaiji number eight t-shirt from Uniqlo and it's actually on sale. It's only like 12 bucks. Uh, I, so I got it and it's so nice. It's really good. I'm waiting for the last two episodes to go dub. That's fair. Have you read the manga yet? No. <laughs> I might've put all the manga on my throne. <laughs> Um, I am planning on getting caught up on the manga as soon as possible, though. I wanted to wait, and so I just finished the anime last night with Anime Night with one of my friends. And now I need to read the manga from then on. You know, Rama can't read. Excuse me! Need to give me the link of from that? Wait, the link of which? I'm sorry, I have a goldfish braid. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, uh, the unique load. Yeah! Uh, you can, if you want to, like, remind me later, you're free to message me and I'll, because I will, for I will forget in 12 hours. I will absolutely forget in 12 hours. <laughs> and I can't tap out of this game or it makes my model lag and I'm not restarting stream again. Striking dummies near the eighth right if you want to practice the Dragoon rotation. Good for a reminder and to learn what's new. Mm-mm. We ball. Fuck it, we ball. I, we don't we don't practice. We just throw ourselves in. The rest of my teammates be damned. Saving them will mean confronting their false, false gods like as not. I, as you say, will do well to study their religious tra traditions to Akyali. A true dragoon. Mm-hmm. I live and die by the spear. Alright, there's no Aetherite currents close, so we'll just deal with this. Some people have such cute mounts. You know what? I don't want to be on you. We're gonna we're gonna do Torgal. No! I didn't mean to remove Torgal! Fuck! I didn't want to well we can put Torgal here anyway. Oh, you can't summon him because the chocobo's out. Boo, that's fair. One for all, that's all for one, and that one is Rama. <laughs> See, it's going to be really fun because I'm not going to look up the trial ahead of time, so I'm just going to try to figure out the mechanics as I go it, as I do it. Uh, bright side, trust is designed to do more damage if you're being less than optimal, so it won't go any slower or faster. Mm hmm Thank you for the headpats. The thing is, I won't be doing a trust for the trial, because I don't think you can. I think you have to do, like, the trial with regular people. Bum, bum, ba, da, dum, bum, bum. Welcome to Akyali, my friend. The name means White Beach, and there isn't much here to save that, but please make yourself at home. Your companions have already begun talking to everyone. Feel free to show yourself around to do the same. And any one of us can tell you about our gods, but you could do worse than to speak with Kanga at the old Hasva Hasveda. They're free at the moment as it happens. Bro, I am probably butchering some of these names, I'll be real. Hmm? You wish to know about our gods? What a curious visitor you are. Most want fish. In any case, I'm happy to oblige. Now, I don't know how it is once you hail, but our isle is home to many gods. 
They can be divided into two groups, the Manusia, beings of wisdom who assume the form of men, and the Murga, beings of might who assume the form of beasts. Okay. Wisdom and might. <laughs> Together they are divinities. Their forms and personalities, many and varied. Some are kind and gentle, others stern and temperamental, just like we mortals can be. All are possessed of great insight and experience, and by heeding their teachings, we strive to be better people and live better lives. <gasps> Estinian! I like how he's not trying to get any information. He's like, I know my role here. Oh, yeah, there's a shrine way out there. I think the heat's affecting me. Set up my portable AC and was wondering why it's still so hot in my place. Didn't turn it on after setting it up. <laughs> oh my god, Zeno. Yeah, I have a fan going right now because it is so hot. I'm just enjoying my little cold little room. Trying not to die. Interested in learning about our gods, you say? Heh. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Prick up your ears then and listen. In ancient times, the Manusia and the Murga, deities who look like men and beasts respectively, were locked in conflict. Eventually, seeking the wisdom of the Man Manusia, the Murga cast aside their own heads and took up those of their foes. Like the wise, the Manusia coveted the might of the Murga, and so they too resolved to trade heads. Thus were born new gods possessed of both might and wisdom, and they ushered in an age of harmony between the two factions. From then on, as a sign of their esteem for one another, the Manusia have worn animal faces and the Murga the limbs of men. Interesting. It's on now and made too cool a place larger than my apartment. It's wonderful. Oh, hell yeah. There you are. Learned a thing or two about our gods, you I trust? While you were off talking to the others, I remembered something that might be of interest. If you could let your friends know, I'll go and fetch it from my home at once. I'm actually almost too cold because of my fan, but I don't want to put on a sweater. And I would rather be cold than hot. I should probably put on a sweater. I just noticed that all the men we're traveling with have white or silver hair. <laughs> Apologies for the wait. I wish to show you this hanging scroll which depicts three of our most revered deities. By all means, we should like to see it. Wee wee! Hi, wee wee! <laughs> Your fucking name is still getting me. Thank you for shouting out, wee wee! <laughs> I can't not say it in a baby voice, I'm sorry! Chat, please go follow wee wee, another wonderful uh, water dragon, sometimes cat boy. Used to be sleepy Riri, -ri, but is now wee wee. Highly entertaining, and you guys would all have a great time with them. Make sure to drop that follow if you aren't already. I hope you're having an amazing night. Hi, Gimbo. Wait, these look familiar. I feel like these are from a another Final Fantasy game, or they're ref they're referencing something from another Final Fantasy game. From Final Fantasy IV, I think. Mm hmm. They are the men's Manusia you heard about them already, yes? Three sisters. Final Fantasy X as well. Yeah, I think I know them from X. For reference, doing good. Thank you. How is Hot Person Game going? I am so fucking thirsty for Final Fantasy XIV. I am in love. I am smooching the back of fucking Estinian's neck. I am... There was an unhinged moment with my Emmett Selk page on my, uh... <laughs> where someone played the fucking lick emote and I just licked the screen for a while. Like, Final Fantasy XIV, everyone is too hot. I am losing my mind. Hi, Caramel Chaos. Do you do fourteen, Wee Wee? I can't remember. The center one is the eldest. Sindurava, the goddess of wisdom, for this alchemist told her in the highest. To her right is the middle sister, Sandaruva. As a goddess of wealth, she counts many traitors among her followers. And on the left is Minduruva, the youngest sibling. She presides over crafts and is beloved by the weavers. 
Right? Like, I'm trying to focus on the story, but everyone's sexy, right? Who's your hottest character? My, I... Emmett Selk is the fucking meme of, like, no lube, no protection from the kitchen to the church, like, front to the back, like, that that entire fucking copy pasta that I can't remember right now, that is me on Emmett Selk. Xenos, hot as fuck, barking. All the red flags, but I'm barking. None of these thoughts are in the Bible. Graha, I want to hold hands with. Uh, Yotsuyu, I want to step on me. I hate to say it, but no one's beating Cloud. You're fair? Cloud doesn't really do it for me, though. Sephiroth does. But the things I would do to that twink? Very understandable. <laughs> I like to be put into my place, so once characters get a little too twinky, I'm like, sorry, I will throw you to someone else who will take you down a peg. <laughs> Can't get behind Cloud. Feels like he cries in aftercare. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong, but. <sighs> Although each is worshipped for different reasons, the sisters are usually portrayed together in these works, which people keep in their homes for good fortune. I do love Tifa. In like fashion to the Manusia, the deities of Eorzea preside over myriad aspects of life, and what of the Murga, may I ask? The Murga hold powers over nature. In ages past, they are revered as guardian deities in times of conflict. If you have occasion to visit our temples and ruins, you'll find their images there. Amongst them is a god who possesses a god's head. He is venerated as the progenitor of the Arkasojara. Um, it's okay, I'm a very supportive top. He can do whatever he's gotta do. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's all yours. You'll treat him well. Italian said it also loves Tifa. <laughs> Got back with watermelon and her Tifa. I'm interested. Mm -hmm. Serena and Sadu are a cute couple. True. And then there are dragons. They occupy a special place in our history. Dragons. 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 Dragon superiority. Let's fucking go. You worship dragons too. It's said that an ancestor of the Satrap, that is the ruler of Radzatan, forged a covenant with a dragon divinity in ancient times. This divinity has since acted as the guardian deity of the satrap. Legend holds that if ever the satrap is in need, his dragon will fly to his aid. Oh, dragon ally. <gasps> we saw Ponytail Astinian riding a dragon in the trailer for Endwalker. All the time we talk like this makes me think I'm a soft top. Very fair. You claim to be a terrible storyteller, but nothing could be further from the truth. The passion you bear for your faith is plain to hear, and I am confident that the information you give us will serve us well in our efforts to deal with the tower. That's very kind of you to say thank you. I'll pray for your success. Right. I believe it's time we sought out Kral's acquaintance, an alchemist by the name of Nidhana. According to Kral's notes, we are to find her at a place called the Great Work further north along the coast. All right, chat, we learned about religion, and unlike the Pope, I don't think this one's evil. <gasps> Did you say you're going to see Nidhana? Oh, how I envy you. She's brilliant and beautiful, kind and understanding, and did I say she's beautiful? Oh, I could stare at her dainty ears and adorable trunk all day, and those eyes. When you meet her, take care you don't drown in them. <laughs> Oh my god, this music's intense! Chris has a Pope hat, so is Chris evil? Chris has always been evil. No matter what you guys say, Chris is evil. <gasps> you can pet to- Oh my god! Okay, this is officially the best mount. Best mount. Oh my god. Man's really said you fart with that truck. <laughs> Ride Torgal into war. I loved Final Fantasy 16. As much as it would have been fun to do it on stream, I am kind of glad I played it for myself. It was really fun.
The tooltip for pet is great. It makes me happy. I feel like I'm supposed to stay on the road one sec. Oh my god, I really feel like I am going somewhere epic on this mount. Doing it for stream implies the stress of performance. I'm more glad you're enjoying it for yourself. Yeah, 14 and Dave the Diver I both did for myself. Um, well, they're all dead. That's not good. 16 was so fun. Liked it more than Rebirth, to be honest. Same. I still need to play... I actually need to play Rebirth, but I liked it better than 7 Remake. 16, I think, is one of my favorite uh, Final Fantasy games I've played in years. Wish we had the other form of Torgal too. I feel like that would be too much of a spoiler for anyone who's just playing 14. I want to pet all my mounts. I would love that. 16 had a more satisfying ending, but 15 pulled on the heartstrings harder for me. I just didn't like 15. It felt too disjointed for me. Like, the plot was very all over the place, and there wasn't good, like, plot, foreshadowing, all that type of stuff. So, like, while I liked the characters, 15 just did not do it for me, because I like a co- I like a tight, coherent narrative that develops themes and is interesting and like. So no matter how interesting the characters themselves were, I just, it was not for me. It was like camping simulator with the boys. So I definitely understand why some people really loved it, but it was not for me. I just like exploring 15. I'm sad they scrapped the DLC. 15 was so damn forgettable. Yeah. I think, yeah, I just... No offense to Nomura, but unless Sakaguchi is like reining him in, he has no idea what to do with the plot. Cindy was the MVP. I did love Cindy and I loved, oh my God, what was her name? Our, oh God, I forgot her name. The Dragoon Lady. Aradnia? Aradnia or something. God, she was hot. <laughs> Still in my top five. Yeah, it's not for me. I just, it made me too angry. So like... I've been in, like I've been an English major. I love media. I love games, movies, books. And the thing about f the reason I can't like 15 is it had so much potential that it did not hit. It had a lot of interesting things that were never developed. Like it had so it had so many interesting things it could do, but it was very inconsistent, didn't set them up properly, and just had like a bunch like it essentially makes me really angry because I see a bunch of potential in it that just they fucked up. <laughs> and I know it makes sense they fucked it up because the development was hell, but uh, not Nomura's fault. Uh, versus 13 would have been better. I think versus 13 would have been better. The thing is, Nomura has always had really interesting ideas, but he gets too carried away with almost like the rule of cool. So he's very good at doing emotional things. That's why Kingdom Hearts, like, even though it's a mess, like, people are so emotionally invested in. Nomura knows how to get you emotionally invested, but he doesn't know how to, like, tighten things up with coherency. Wish 15 would let us explore the world longer. I ended up missing half the exploration with how the story went. They didn't have that much, like, exploration was weird with 15, too. And they didn't really set up, like, the evil country very well. They were just kind of like, surprise, we're just going to tell you everything. Or, and, like, the antagonist. They could have foreshadowed so much. It just makes me angry. It makes me angry because I'm like, there's so many things that could have been better. Uh, wasn't there a weird time jump story skip that made the ending feel really disjointed? Yes. Yes, there was. Yeah, like, I really, I love Cindy and I've never played the game. I love a hot mechanic lady. Oh, yeah, she's hot as hell. Remember reading books more than the actual story because the car travel system took too long for some places? Oh, my God, this car. <gasps> the car drove me crazy because you're just driving for so long. Still find it funny with how 15 canonically has Assassin's Creed as a series in it. They railroad you towards the finale of the game in Chapter 7. Chapter 3 is your Explore the World bit. Royal Edition DLC made the last area better. See, the thing is, I played it on launch. 
And apparently they made some things better, like with patching things or the King Edi Royal Edition and that type of stuff. But like, if your first game is so bad that it makes me angry and you don't, don't like you have to create like a new edition to make things better. I'm still going to call your game bad. It drove you crazy. Oh my God, Yama. I really liked the 15 movie, except for one thing. Chat, do you mind if I explain the thing that kind of pissed me off about the movie and one of the reasons why I'm well, Nomura was still involved in the movie, right? They should have nuked it and start over, probably. Assassin's Creed was so big it got an entire festival. Logic, you could say 14's bad because 14. Well, like, they recognize that. They nuked the game and it's an MMO, so it's like a new plot and everything. But, like, I feel like a developed game is different. Of uh, Rebirth is too much exploration, not to mention the amount of mini games. Almost felt burnt out by the time I got to the end. Mm -hmm. So, one of the things with the movies and why I say like fifteen also has like issues of these things are cool, so we're gonna do them, is fifteen. <laughs> they undo all of their. They undo most of their pivotal character development in the movie. So. In the movie, there's the Kingsglaive. They are like the foreigners who are essentially allowed to have like their own little military thing. And they kind of work with the king. The leader of the Kingsguard. Somehow, the guy who's leading the Kingsguard is doing a good enough job of leading the Kingsguard that he is very high up in the main place government. But then it turns out he's also like the major general of the enemy army. And, like, they have a scene with him, and the people immediately salute him, and they, like, recognize him. So he's still an active military member. I am sorry, there is no one in this world who has enough free time to manage the military of two different fucking countries. Like, comp like well. And the other thing, like, they reveal it at the end to be like, haha, I was evil all along, so that the main guy feels betrayed. But the other issue with this is this guy, this other guy, he gets injured. Uh, he ends up kind of falling in with a bit of a resistance group and he gives them information and it helps lead to the fall of his city. So there's this whole thing where he's like, oh, I'm not a hero. And it's kind of like how badly he fucked up. And his, his arc is pretty much like him going, oh my God, I led to the fucking like destruction of my city. This is my fault, all this type of thing. But then when it reveals that the enemy general is the leader of the King's Glaive, I'm like, bitch, they had all that information. You didn't do shit. Nothing you did was plot relevant because they did that fucking heel face turn at the end where they're just like, hey, surprise, main guy's evil. So like this entire narrative development of this other character it doesn't matter because nothing he did had any actual effect on the plot anyway i'm i'm getting really off topic i'm getting so off topic <laughs> i'm sorry i'm getting so off topic 15 just has so many things where i'm like if they just changed some things it could have been really good <sighs> but yeah i pretty much I think the first Final Fantasy game, aside from this one, that I really enjoyed after 10 was 16. I honestly haven't been a huge fan of any since 10. <laughs> 16, though? Phenomenal. Anyway. If there was a battle, there's a conspicuous lack of blood. Uh, there's a whole redemption thing, like, bro, I fucked up, make me god so I can fix things, and they go, sure... Major thing I didn't like in 15 was friendly fire magic. Right? Love 12. So I would have liked 12, except I can't do open world games. So 12 is one of the games where I'm like, I understand why people liked it, but it personally wasn't for me because I don't do open world games. So 12, I can recognize probably a phenomenal game. Just not my up my alley. I do love 10 too. I love my silly dress up game. Like, if you play Final Fantasy X-2 as a silly dress-up game, it's phenomenal. In such a manner did we find them. What could have befallen these people? What in the world? Alright, I'm just gonna go deal with the Aetherite. I'll come back to deal with the Dying Alchemist shortly after. Ten two was great for the dress spheres. Exactly. Also the opening. What can I do for you? What can I do for you? I feel like these two are having a moment and I'm like interrupting with my <laughs> plot stuff. I'm just like, sorry, excuse me. Um, I'll get out of your way. 
I'm like, I know y'all are having a moment on this bridge. I'm just, I'll be out of your way shortly. Don't worry. <laughs> you okay what there? He's so kissable. I'm sorry, I know people are dead, but... marks them as alchemists. I see no evidence of injury or poison. Oh. Thinkest thou they but slumber? I believe so. Whether it is by choice... Thank you for the sip, Zeno. And the stretch and posture check. Oh, we have guests. You must excuse the poor welcome. Long days and longer nights have taken their toll, as you can see. Okay, is this guy, like, good? Or is he evil and just being like, haha, don't pay any notion to the fact that everyone's on the fucking ground? Wait, are you guys pretty cute, right? I am Vashan. Servant to the satrap. My task was, in fact, okay. to wake these good men and women, if you will allow. All right, never mind. He's waking them up. We're okay. Why did he stare at a Stinian spear People so intently? I come bearing new scales. Mm. Scales? Are they all going to wake up because they're like, alchemy work? Let's go! Final Fantasy games I wish I could play are 13 and 9. 9 is my favorite Final Fantasy game, shortly followed by 7. 13 might, a or 16 might actually take those places, actually. I played 13, but I was not a huge fan. Love JRPGs, but the story in some can be a grind themselves. Looking at you, Persona, and the entire Legend of Heroes series. I am waiting so long on Pers- Oh my god, I'm still partway through Persona 3 because I got distracted and that game takes so long. Holy shit. Scales. I, I sleep, scales. I wake. <laughs> yes! <laughs> They're all fucking nerds! They're all nerds! Yes, my friends. Gather around. Oh my I god! It's an entire village of fucking nerds! <laughs> now I can continue my experiment. <laughs> Many thanks. One for me. Fuck yes! Science! Those are dragon like, uh. scales. Oh, that's why he is staring at the Azure Dragoon. Such materials are vital to their most pressing oh. research. And we are fortunate to have them. Our experiments are so close to bearing fruit. The term is alchemist, thank you. Listen, why would I call them alchemists when I can call them fucking nerds? Nerds! Played seven uh, recently on my Switch for the first time. Got, got emotional. Understandable. Ten holds a special place in my heart. Popularity of seven puts me off a bit when I played it. That's fair. Because, like, 10 is good, but the insane amount of popularity I can see being like, uh. 10. I never fully finished Final Fantasy 10, but still listening to, like, two Xanarkin can make me sob. Like, 10 affected me so emotionally. At least there's not a dog in sight for this alchemist midnight! Soon we will have a talisman capable of nullifying the etheric emissions from that accursed tower. <gasps> Let's go! Sign. Let's go, Alchemist. Not job appropriate. They aren't mages. Yeah, I never finished it. Every time I play it, I get like 100 hours in and then s lose steam. <laughs> did, did I say something wrong? Are you not here with Varshan? Wait, who are you people? Like, who the fuck are you? Cryo sent us! Of course! You're the one Cryo sent. The warrior of light we've been waiting for. Oh, First Final Fantasy VII. The day of celebration. Praise be to Cinderova! I love this village of nerds. I feel it. 
The end to our toil is near. I feel it too. My head hasn't been this clear in days. Tell me, how did you acquire those scales? Curious that it concerns you so. But worry not. They were freely given by the dragon with whom our satrap has forged a lawful pact. All right. He's staring at us like, you better not hurt our fucking dragon. <laughs> that is well. <laughs> you lose steam how there's a browser shortcut for it. Oh my god. Following the village a locker because it's full of nerds. Also, no, he wants to destroy everything, but Sephiroth was odd in my opinion. Fair. And Walker was so refreshing VA-wise because it was no longer just English cast. We finally got some diversity. Mm -hmm. I love the music for Thavnir. You must be quite familiar with Dragon King, yes? He, he fucking teleported. Oh my god. Are dragons his special interest? <gasps> oh my god. Hmm. <laughs> Speaking of dragon blood. You yourself have been infused with it, have you not? Oh my god! <laughs> I should like to draw a file or two. <laughs> Got those fingers a wiggling like, oh yes, may I draw a vial of your blood, sir? Now, see here. Come along, come along. I must insist that you visit our laboratory. <laughs> He's this being taken out by the nerds! Run! Stu study subject located. It's oh, time to run tests. What with the new scales and your timely <laughs> arrival, my colleagues are a little... I'm just imagining them starting to, like, strip his armor off and him, like, with his chest exposed half-naked looking over at us. Like, help! No nerds harm, took out the jock. <laughs> Meanwhile, shall we find a quiet place to talk? Listen, how else are they going to draw blood from him if they don't strip him first? As you may have guessed, I am Nidana, the alchemist who sent the request to your mistress, Kryl. We have workshops across the nation collaborating on this research project. But it is here, at the great work, where I collate our results. Come with me, all of you, and I can explain the crux of the situation. She seems nice. Rest in peace, Sustinian. You'll be missed. Forget it. Is his armor just normal metal? If not, it's made from dragon. I don't remember. I don't. I don't think it explains his new armor. His old armor was probably dragon scales. Okay. Yeah. The next aether current is incredibly far away. Armor's just new, it's the spear that's special. What's up with the spear? Allow me to thank you for answering our call. Many towers have appeared around the world, and we are grateful you had assist us with ours. The Kryle herself is tied up with another investigation. Ramaya is an eminent, eminently capable substitute and will spare no effort to aid you. So if I understand you correctly, you seek to make the talismans that can nullify etheric emissions. Indeed we do. As you know, the tower emits vast concentrations of aether. One cannot go anywhere near it without being tempered. As such, we can only study the tower from afar and are powerless to deal with it in any consequential way. Oh, carries Nidhogg's blood. Right. Never cleaned the lance. Right. Right. He just left that blood on there. Probably why he's so stinky. Also, hi, Brute. In order to strike back, the satrap bade us alchemists create an enchanted talisman. Talismans that will allow our soldiers to venture into the tower, even should they lack innate protection. Could such a thing be possible? Admittedly, we're still in the midst of testing, but we're quite confident. Even prior to this, our people have long pursued countermeasures against the etheric corruption of primals. Of the methods tested to date, those utilizing dragon scales proved the most promising. 
Owing to their etheric density, the scales are highly resistant to disruptive forces. The mightier the dragon, the greater the resistance. We seek to amplify this protective property through our alchemy. No wonder he stinks. He smells like a dragon and we all know how much that stinks. Excuse me, I smell amazing. I'm not far into Endwalker, but they made him more expa uh, badass in this expansion. Hell yeah. Why would you nibble, brute? Thanks to the scales provided by His Excellency, we've been able to make steady progress with the talisman. Soon we'll be able to conduct a field test, and here's where you and your blessing of light come in. Stop nibbling. Whatever it is, leave it to me. What exactly do you, have, do you need me to do? Better than having my blood drawn, I suppose. Leave it to me. I see you. Thank you. Lest you wonder, we only ask that you serve as an escort. I will explain in greater deal later, but you'll be venturing into the tower's field of influence. And so, for your own safety, I'd first test how well your blessing shields you. With your permission, of course. Aura superiority? Yes, auras are the best, because dragons are the best. In that case, Orianger and I will find other ways to make ourselves useful. Seeing as you all work to the point of collapse, I suspect you could do with more hands. Would be grateful for any assistance you can provide. Hi, bad wolf. No nibbles. If you're ready, then let us put your blessing to the proof. If you exit the great work and turn south, there will be a hill to the right. I'll meet you at the top after seeing to some preparations. Zayla clan? Yay! Bum, bum, bum. One sec. Yippee! Serp added the ex exp in the heart of battle and reduced rates. Forgot someone in the FC to do that. Yippee! Hi, Virgil. How's it going? Alright. So they said exit and go to the right. They're flying on a bed. I'm kind of jealous. I wish my bed could fly, then I'd never have to leave it. Which would actually probably be terrible. <laughs> Oh, ad time! I wonder where my food is. Sick. I'm gonna see if I can... Don't forget to let your fam know there's food coming. Yeah! I'm just seeing if I can track it through treat stream because I'm just like, I'm getting a little hungry. All right, uh, hopefully it'll be here in the next 20 minutes or so. Zayla best, absolutely. I also have my phone near me so that I can um, answer right away. Dun, dun, dun. Drunken Depot, what the fuck's that? Why is the local style drunk? Yeah, I should probably text the fam and be like... Here's fish. <laughs> you know what, we'll put... Is this the one I really like the sound of? No, I think I like this one better. Once upon a time I considered running purple or red skin dough raw, but I settled on pale blue gray. I'm just gonna run around on this until um, the ad breaks over. Y'all can enjoy the music. Ba -da -da -da. Like, I could do an aura that has like more dragony coloring. But I decided not to. Just 
I want to do all the trials again. I need to get the rest of the mounts, too. Because I remember I was doing mount farming for the dogs and then uh, didn't finish it. And then I never did any of the mount farming for Shadowbringers. It's even easier? Oh, hell yeah. I probably won't do it on stream, but I'm going to do mount farming soon. I want to be abducted by an alien. What the fuck? <laughs> Shadowbringers will require coordination still? Boo. I remember some people who were helping with the doggos, but I don't recall who. I wonder who they could be. Oh, yeah. I do need to get all the tribe mounts, too. What fucking tribe is... Abducted by UFOs. Need to do the Shadowbringers mount farm. Need the mechanical dragon mount. <gasps> Shadowbringers is dragons? Oh my god, I extra need it. Because yeah, I think the Realm Reborn is the only one I have the full set of. I hope you didn't have trouble finding this place or climbing the hill. Not all are accustomed to the physical strain. I want a UFO mount. I give you the fruit of our sweat, tears, and many a sleepless night. The drunken Deepa! A Deepa is a lantern presented to the gods as an offering. Taking inspiration from tradition, we created this device to test the talisman's efficacy. End walk request? Oh, okay. Upon activation, it'll move a certain distance before emitting a powerful blast of aether. Hildy quests? Oh, is it from Hildebrand? There's a mount where you're stuck in a TV. It's neat. There's so many cool mounts. In lieu of corruption, those lacking sufficient protection will experience severe aether sickness. For your test, you'll be exposed four times. That should be enough to ascertain your blessing's protective capability. Please begin whenever you're ready. I shall be observing from a safe distance. Commencing Aetheric Exposure Testing. Repeat. Commencing Aetheric Exposure Testing. Retreat to a safe distance if you are not the subject. Yeah, I want to do Hill. I, I should do Hildebrand on stream. I almost want to start from the beginning because they were so fun. Hey, Frost, how's it going? I hope you're doing well. Oh, stand back. Good luck on the marathon. Thank you. Okay, I'll still. You are struck by a powerful blast of aether and suffer no ill effects. Subject has no irrepressible urge to empty their stomach. Confirmed. Resuming test. Please follow. Oh god, I haven't done relics in forever. I don't even want to know how hard it would be to do relics now. There would be so much shit. Ready, Aether, please step back. Okay. This is so pretty. Past the Doom, thanks for the follow and welcome to the Kobolds. I hope you're having a great day. Also, I really love this chat box widget. It's so fun to see like the experience bar go up. Not gonna make me sick, Lantern. Subject stomach and bowel integrity holding. Confirmed. Resuming test. Please follow. Um. Why did we have to go in a circle? Alright, we're stepping back. Hope you're enjoying Endwalker so far. Yeah, it's been fun! I'm really excited to be back into Final Fantasy XIV. Not super far in, but... <laughs> I've been trying to actually stay focused on the plot. I have only minor distractions, you know? Subject fortitude rated impressive. No irregularities. Confirmed. Resuming test. Please follow and brace for final discharge. She sold man... Just because I didn't manage to sell a, a single fish 
Listen, listen. It was scripted to fail. That's I'm standing by it. It was scripted to fail just so we could teach him courage. Anyone who says they managed to sell the fish is a liar. <laughs> you were struck by the strongest blast of Aether yet, but survived completely unscathed. Aetheric exposure testing concluded. Please collect and deliver me to supervising alchemist. Congratulations on retaining your composure and your humors. Alright, up you go. Ah, you've returned and not on your knees. Hey, yo. Oh, I sold zero fish. Calling me a liar then? <laughs> a promising sign, but come, let me take the deep off your hands. Having exhausted all of its ether, the drunken Deepa is now having a well-earned rest. You sold nothing? I- shush. Shush. Thank you, I shall replenish this aether for when we test a talisman. I didn't even manage to sell any to chat. Someone was just like, hey, I'll give you five subs if you shut up about your bosom fish. I <laughs> needs for you, maybe. Why do you have the knife with that, Midnight? Midnight, that's threatening! You do not seduce someone going, yeah, I'll be on your knees with you, with a my knees for you, with a knife! This is the woman Matsuya was looking respectfully at. Oh yeah, Matsuya's like, can get lost in her beautiful eyes. Or as Nico put it, damn baby, you fart with that nose. Kept harassing me with boob fish? Shut <laughs> Shush! No dizziness or nausea or anything of the sort. You're feeling perfectly fine. Then the strength of your blessing is beyond doubt. There's no risk the tower will corrupt your aether. With this, we can request your aid for the task ahead with easy hearts. I like that. This test was pretty much like, hey, are we gonna fucking kill you and get you tempered if we put you at the tower? Nidhana looks at you with those eyes you could drown in. Yeah, to try selling it as fish boobs, not boob fish. <laughs> if I hadn't already promised to stop trying to sell them, I might try that. Hmm. You're a capable warrior too, are you not? Would you be amenable to assisting me with an errand? You see, our talisman requires the use of a special ink, but we have exhausted our stores of a key ingredient for it. Spirit weed. With her the herb grows not far from here, and I'd like to go and harvest some. With the recent spate of kidnappings, however, we are Sodara, travel alone at our peril. Will you not come with me as an escort? I'd compensate you for your troubles, of course. Always. Some like the thrill, got some experience old. I'm in your debt. Without further ado, let us head to Kajaya's, Kajaya's footsteps. It is situated on the road which runs east of the Great Work. Alright. This game doesn't have fall damage, right? <clears throat> We're just gonna wait a moment. Only half our health, it's fine. I may simply be imagining it, but I feel as though we're being followed. <gasps> Look out! <laughs> yeah, they're in the newest area. <laughs> get fucked. Hi, Agent. How's it going? Do you not remember talking to Chad in the past and falling off the tower and not fly- Shh, I don't. <laughs> the panda people in WoW? Well, this game has beast tribes in every area, and this area is elephants. Gods, but that gave me a fright. To think the moment I ventured outside the safety of the work. Thank the sisters I asked you to come in. You're alright, I hope? Oh, one more.
thank God I texted the fam to be like, hey, keep an eye out, my have food arriving, because uh, they did not send me the text message that is like, your food is here. <laughs> so guess what? My food's here. I don't know what to do. Hmm. Okay, I'll finish this t uh, quest really quickly. Chat, what should we watch while I eat food? Because I need to eat my lunch, but... Good, good. Let's continue on then. It isn't far now. Just through these pillars and up the rise. Okay. We're gonna go back. We're gonna go AFK at this Aetherite real quick. Hi, Burb. How's it going? I hope you're doing well. But yeah, it's apparent. It's only been sitting outside for like 10 minutes, so it's fine. <laughs> back here it's fucking hot it's really hot here 105 F oh my god all right we're gonna exit real quick so that I have enough time to eat hmm chat what should I make you guys watch does anyone have any ideas I didn't actually think this far <laughs> I am a fool. I did not actually plan to put anything up on YouTube while we were doing Endwalker. Boof pack on repeat. Easy. We are not doing boof pack on repeat. <sighs> Memes. True. We could just do unusual. Let's just do unusual mean compilation. Unusual meme compilation while I eat. Great British baking show. All right, chat. You guys get some unusual meme compilation. And Midnight, thank you again for the food. <laughs> Got spring rolls and my meat. I don't know why I said my meat for a rice bowl. <laughs> That's a very weird way to say rice bowl. <laughs> All right, chat. <laughs> Oh my god. Your trash can ain't up. Your trash can ain't up. Your trash can ain't up. Dio! Oh my we say the way we treat other I was people. so impressed with her for a moment working together is so important to preserve that freedom and and to really ta perfeito 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 ta ta Hey Kenstigator <laughs> How's the volume chat Sounds good, made food, hell no, yeah. Just, sometimes it's like just really hard to like let myself loose and like Sir, mera bowling kar raha hota hai, umpire usko no ball deta hai. To nera bolta hai, mera pair to andar tha. Umpire bolta hai, lekin tera daat to ba. Whenever I'm drunk, I really want to roll down the grass. Kitty. After 90 days, one week, oh, and then we go to. Hi, 
Stop. I don't give a fuck. Oh, oh, that was nice. Did I ever tell you guys about the time my friend uh, was really drunk at a convention <laughs> and dropped a full bottle of vodka on the floor of Artist Alley? And then short, not too long after, the convention staff was like paging for her to find her and she was just like, oh God, oh God, oh God, and went in and everything turns out they didn't know it was her that dropped the vodka. They were calling her in because she was a staff member. <laughs> and she was just like, oh fuck, oh fuck. But no, it all turned out for the best. Anyway. Don't mean to shit on our neighbors, but these fucking orange juices have been out on the balcony for literally like six months. Oh, they're candles. What? <coughs> yeah, I think they're citronella candles. Oh, well, that would make a lot more sense. Eh? Sounds good, midnight. Oh, that was the oh, most pathetic little jump. Oh, oh. God. There you go. <laughs> you guys know my pet peeve. You know I got a pet peeve about this, right? I don't even know what that was. <gasps> Is that a coyote? I think that's a coyote. Yeah, it's a coyote. I was like, coyote or wolf, but no, it's scrungly, so it's a coyote. Eight inch lifkin on the fucking truck. Bye bye. Gotta pet that dog. Also, let me know if you guys can hear me eat or I'm making gross food noises because um, I don't want to gross anyone out who does not like hearing people eat or if any of my food noises are too gross. <laughs> I'm Cinderella. Have you seen Weave the Coyote? I have not. What if after this we watch Crap Guide to Final Fantasy DPS? <laughs> oh no! I'm on lunch and I hunger for the tail? No. That poor toad! Oh, that's okay. Okay. Oh, no. I'm thirsty. <laughs> ah! Rest in peace to that phone. I would do that. What a way to travel. Can reception. Okay, I might have been a bit too strong. Oh my god, she stole her man! She got him! She took him! There they go! Oh my god. Anyone else not watching the memes and just appreciating Ram? Aww. Kitty cat!
Mr. Steal Your Girl? Nah, she's she's Mrs. Steal Your Man. What up, warriors of- Alright, one sec. We're gonna start with DPS. Everybody- Uh, there we go. Likes to do yeah, they're skilled. Don't pretend like you don't, because I know you're lying. Otherwise, why would you be playing yeah, is bright yellow for nuggies. leveling up, getting stronger, and looking fashionable as fuck? It's to do massive numbers on the other guys until their numbers are so small they match the PP size of anybody who doesn't commend at the end of a duty. The other members leaving too quickly is no excuse. How do you expect to move quick enough to avoid AOEs if you can't even move quick enough to tell your allies they're doing a great job and that their glamour is sexy? Is that uncharacteristically nice of me? Maybe, me but like it means that. I get to steal the LB3 from the only melee in the group. Welcome to a crap guy to Final Fantasy. <laughs> He did. Joe Cat's amazing and people are awful. Today I'm going to be talking about every job. That's right. What, you thought only the DPS have the DPS? Boy, I could slap you with my overflowing glamour dresser. Damage is the name of the game in Final Fantasy XIV, and the entirety of the game is designed around everybody dealing Joe Cat it, is amazing. the tanks and the healers. If, the DPS if you don't like Joe Cat, uh, stop damage, watching my stream and get the, the fuck out. Fill in the other 40. <laughs> so if you don't contribute, you belong in the guard bed shoot. So don't get so hung up on the role names. Everybody, everybody is a DPS. DPS. What I mean specifically is that one, not only is FF14 a cooperative game, which means anytime you waste is not only yours, but also anybody else in your party as well. And two, every combat feature in FF14 is designed with dealing damage in mind. Healers and tanks get skills that actively promote doing more DPS. Hell, Sage is a healer whose skills actively benefit we from doing We all love Joe Cat. Yeah, he made the I Love Girls meme, rage. which is what, uh, is what happens when you overstay or walk in a dungeon or boss arena and the residents have run out of things to talk about pathetic. and are just really ready for you to leave so they can finally go poop without being worried that you're going to steal all their old SNI. DreamWorks DVDs. That is to say you're either forcefully kicked out or alternatively they instantly murder you. How do you prevent this from happening? You murder them first, of course, and Not then a healer, I'm a glare mage. So you can watch the castle siege again. And guess what? The later and later in the game you get, the more and more frequent enrages start to appear. And they'll have more and more health too. So if somebody decides they just don't feel like they want to cooperate in this team game they decided to play, and now the boss has an eighth of its health left and is about to destroy the entire universe, Princess Fiona isn't going to be the only one who will need a hero. <laughs> Hopefully it's been drilled in your head now that DPSing is essential, not, a not just for the jobs at. with the title sticker, yeah. but also anyone in a fancy robe or edgy trench coat NBC as well. Now that you know that, how does one go mm -hmm. about dealing max deeps? The first most basic thing is to do your combo. Combos. Press a button. See another button light up? Press that one. Congratulations, you have successfully completed a combo. And doing so will reap a myriad of benefits from putting damage over time on your target, gaining mana, doing your taxes, or any variety of other additional effects. Oh my but god, mostly, can 14 do my taxes? Dealing more damage. Secondly, you want to press these skills that the game labels as abilities and the community calls off global cooldowns, or OGCDs for short. More like OGCDs nuts! I personally call them free damage buttons. They cost you <laughs> nothing and there's literally no reason not to press them while your normal cooldown yep, is running. press rolling. them constantly. This one has a long cooldown. What if I need it later? No, it doesn't. Shut up. The cooldowns in this <laughs> game are so short, you might as well press them because by the time you need them again, whoop, they're back up. Not to mention, many jobs require you to press those free damage buttons to unlock even spankier damage buttons. So use your goddamn your free damage buttons. It's free damage. The next rule of DPSing is knowing your ABCs. Always be casting. This means mashing away at your keyboard like a tickle monster working double time. More specifically, it means channel. that the best way you to can, make sure um, you are doing the most damage that you can is to always have your global cooldown going. Even if it means accidentally like, pressing the wrong... So the 14 channel in the Discord server is to talk about like everything Final Fantasy. I will say that if it's anything past what I have shown on stream, uh, spoiler it. Dontrell, like, honestly, probably don't put in my server because I don't think anyone in my server is really like there's only a couple people in my server doing Dontrell. But if you wanted to talk about, say, anything like Endwalker, just spoiler the shit out of that. 14 is a valid tax program. They get time to download and get started. Exactly. Is it anything Final Fantasy? It's technically specifically Final Fantasy 14. I'd say the rest of Final Fantasy stuff would go into, um, gaming but i want to show off my little squish bean of course yeah feel free to post your characters in there of course post posted my glam from don trail but it's spoiled mm -hmm. 
kill like the single brain cell that you are. Because if you're always pressing buttons, even the suboptimal one, you are doing more damage than if you weren't. And doing damage is exactly. always better than not doing damage. Uh, yes, even Scathe. Here's a live example with my two subjects, Jan and Chloe. They both deal one million damage and suddenly the boss flies out of melee range. Jan sits there waiting patiently for the boss to return before she can start doing a million damage again. Meanwhile, Chloe is pressing the deal one damage at a range button the entire time they're waiting. I ask you, puny viewer, which person is dealing more damage right now? Yeah, but it's only one damage. Who's dealing more damage? As if anybody exactly. is going to get so close that dealing Who is dealing more damage? Sure, it might not look mm -hmm. like much, but it's going to matter when they fight the boss that has three million and two health and they wipe all because the other DPS decided they don't want to press buttons. It's such little DPS, it won't make a difference. Sure, Jan. Now one of the all best DPS is good DPS. Always do all the damage. It's really simple. I want you to lean in. It's a super simple thing. Mm -hmm. Here, come close. I'm going to say the thing. Are you ready? Okay, here it goes. Read your tooltips. The little block of text that literally tells you what you're... That is a very specific... I feel very called out right now, chat. I feel... This, I feel very personally, personally called out. I, yeah, I don't fucking read these. I don't. I know. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is a personal call out. Skills do. The amount of times I have to tell you to read the tooltip, it's really funny because sometimes if I'm getting told, like, read the tooltip, I'm like, the fuck's a tooltip? Butterfly effects, small details make a great difference when done over time. Skill isn't understood from a glance, reward it. Pictomancer stars game used tool tip is like seven paragraphs. Yeah, no way I'm reading that. I don't play this game and barely know, but I know enough to know real to your tool tip. Shh. Honestly, you would be surprised how many people queue into an expert dungeon and never realize they have a skill that can attack multiple targets. Even all the things <laughs> I tell you in this video, the combos, the range attacks, the AOE damage skills, the free damage buttons. The best way to know what your job is capable of is by reading your job skill tooltips yourself. Nah, so too you much reading. Read your goddamn tooltips because if I see another player not knowing about their AOE combo and a mob pull at level 80, I'm gonna grab the nearest etherite and bash you so hard you're gonna be teleported to the final resting place of every ERP or used undergarments. With all that out of the way, you'd think I'd covered everything you need to do to be an ultimate clearing badass, right? Unfortunately, not. Not waffle face because the final True. responsibility every reading time would take away from my simping time is not dying oh sure the healers help but most of the time your own survival is on you and only you and that means making sure you do the fight mm -hmm. mechanics and don't take this is so true healers can only do so much healing in this game gave me a bit of a god complex i'll be real but yeah like if you sit in every single eo aoe and you're like why did i die bitch bitch dodge those things I can't fucking do shit for your stupidity. Make avoidable damage like it's got the cheese touch. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you in the middle of your cast? <laughs> you want to try and hit that purple parse like the big man you are? <laughs> you damn that! Each time you take damage that is avoidable, it means the healer has to heal you and they're dealing less damage. And on top of that, you get this cheese puff called a vulnerability stack. For each stack you have, you take more and more damage until you get one shot when the enemy farts in your general direction. All this to say, if you don't avoid enemy damage, you will not only make the healer do less DPS, but you're also likely going to die, which means zero. Oh yeah, every time I see a DPS run ahead and pull, I purposely ignore them and don't heal them. Same. If there's a DPS that keeps doing stuff like that, it was really fun. One sec, I didn't just... So every now, back when I used to play more often, there'd be some dungeons where like... Because I used to do White Mage just as much, if not slightly more, than Dragoon. Because when you don't want to deal with DPS cues, healers way faster. So I would be like, all right, healer time. And there was sometimes there'd be dungeons where the DPS would run ahead, pull, and like the tank would not, after we were like, hey, can you stop doing that? The tank would not pull aggro. I would not heal them or res them at all. So we'd just keep doing the dungeon and they'd have to essentially respawn and like walk to catch up with us. Eventually they fucking learned, but we were just like, nah, you want to keep doing this? Like you can do it yourself. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Crafter is great for chilling and making money. I don't really do- I haven't done crafting in this in forever, and I'd have to relearn from scratch, which I'm- Blech. A lot of people really love crafting, though. I was running tank once, and both DPS and healer were ahead of me, so I just took my tank stance off, let him die, and took the penalty and left. 
Zero DPS. And if you still think that's not a- <laughs> Midnight, thank you for clipping. I appreciate it. Big deal and the healers can just res you. Each time you die, you get a dunce cap of Shane that reduces your yes. DPS even more for about as long as a red light in Philadelphia. So you better stay alive or else I'm gonna raise you so I can rescue you into an AoE and kill you myself. To recap, mm -hmm. everybody's DPS matters. Press your free damage buttons. Always be casting. Read your tooltips. Stay alive. But even if you keep all those things in mind, the number one rule to improve your DPS performance is to practice. Striking dummies are all over the goddamn place, out in the overworld, and even in the yards of some random people's houses in practice. the residential district. So if you see one, there's no shame in whacking it a few times like you're auditioning to be a dominatrix. I'm sure the neighbors won't mind. Practice makes perfect, and even all the foresight in the world will not fully translate into the doing. So go and do that doing so that one day you too can do the do and make everybody else Yeah, MJ's like actually a pretty decent, doing like, skills are. And patient doing, tank when he's doing, not throwing tank busters you at you. you clear an ultimate and get a shiny-ass weapon of your own to show off to people AFKing at the Limsa Etherite Plaza. Just know the difference between an amateur and a master is that a master has failed way more times. By the way, get ready for a party wipe. Wait, what? <laughs> Congratulations, you're now better at the game than you were five seconds ago. Oh. And now you know how to DPS, you're welcome. I usually throw out a warning, now and if they talk back, I tell them <laughs> to roll tank. Next time, they're incapable of following no, other tank other speeds. Party members withdrew. Ah, Sometimes you gotta learn what a tank buster looks like as a DPS. Can't find the YouTube short of it, found it on TikTok. Everyone always seconds. says you should be a team player, uh, probably, but honestly, you can throw it in like the, the Discord, but I'm not going to watch it while I'm streaming. Thank you, though. It's by crushing whatever obstacle Melee that's in the way DPS. Let's go. This is me. Receipt. So that's it. No more playing for anybody else. I All right, chat. This is me Melee DPS. It's me. Everyone always says you should be a team I love player, but honestly, I've always felt like the best way to help the team is by crushing I'd whatever obstacle it, that's Death, in the way also? with my heavily toned squat receipts. So that's it. No did you know that critically acclaimed MMORPG Final Fantasy XIV has a free expansion now up to Stormblood? No more playing for anybody else. I play for me, baby. Any reason the raid wipes from now on is no longer my fault. I only exist to make big numbers fly towards the screen and watch my skill bar light up like a Christmas tree at a rave party. And you bet your precious patoot the progress preventers will be promptly pounded because this potent projector of pain will be DJ? peppering Damn. those beasties until your pack is paved with enough resulting pellets that every peddler will pray to be pampered by a more palatable pacifist. <laughs> Welcome to a crap guide to Final Fantasy. Being a DPS is like being the king of capitalism, because the way you play, taking care of others is for bitches. Pay no attention to anybody else's well-being unless it directly affects you, mm -hmm. and so long as you're alive and safe, you can act like anything bad that happens around you is probably not your fault. All exactly. That power instead I have never done anything wrong really in my matters. life. Your complicated as shit damage rotation. That's right, step aside tanks 1, 2, 3, and healers 2 damage buttons. These are where the big guys and gals play. Or at least that's what they like to tell themselves, since one of the only party utilities they have to worry about is pressing the faint button once in a blue moon. Their hotbar will more often have dozens of buttons all dedicated to big damage. The melee big. is the most important person in the party big. as you are the one on the front lines inspecting the bad guys. One sec, I need to read all these. Literally, Samurai and Viper are the most selfish DPS out there. Hell yeah. Want to watch me get a Vuln for a second of uptime? Want to watch me do it again? Featuring Dante from DMZ. WASD is completely rubbed off. LB boss three expansions late. You get a gap closer and you get a gap closer and you get a gap closer. PS is the most important person Green. in the party. As you are the one on the front lines inspecting the bad guy's anus like it's where all the Hrothgar hats are hiding while avoiding the enemy's sprays of hot poisonous gamer stain. Not only are you going to be up in their grill turning their cheeks into a ripe tomato while flip-flopping in and out of danger like you're a politician making pancakes, you're also going to make like an adult film star and learn positionals. Certain attacks in your damage rotation woo, woo. will require you to land them in specific areas around the enemy target specifically the real um i just always attack from the back if something happens to be the target side oops you're in the flank in order to deal additional damage how do you tell where those positions are yeah i just always attack from the back titty underneath the target see this nipple that's the front where the tank will be sucking on the sweet milkies that are tank busters which obviously means this conspicuous ticulus on the opposite end is the rear what about the flank that'll be on either side of the enemy and if you're ever confused as to where each area begins and ends a useful tip on how to tell is imagine there's a big x dividing each of the quadrants or you could just press true north and pretend positionals don't exist like it's an embarrassing memory of that time you did Yay! the kingdom style at school unironically the only time it isn't the case is when the enemy has a full ring oh he's hitting it from the back i see about any of that guff and you can just sit there like an off tank who's actually having fun otherwise between hopping back and forth in these two spots and running around catching up to the boss whenever the tank feels like doing cardio your little wall's legs are gonna get so much working out that they'll be thick as the milk from the teats of a whale made of molasses which is to say expect to move 
a lot. But what if I'm not in the right place for a position or the boss is far away? Remember Just me. remember the old adage. Always, Always be, be casting. casting. Even if you're not able to land your positionals or if the boss is too far away to make a melee attack, be sure to always be pressing your buttons no matter what. Unless you're a monk who has no ranged attack and you have to sit there thinking about how your job will inevitably be reworked yet again in the next patch. However, there is another- Yeah, monk, you actually do just need to sit there and be like, okay, well, bye. <laughs> Another secret epic gamer option that allows you to maximize the DPS you output at the risk of yourself as well as potentially mm. everybody else. But it's usually the healers. This technique is called greed. The funny thing about <laughs> AOE markers in Final Fantasy XIV is that they only ever mark you for damage if you are standing in them the moment they go away. This means that if you're fast on your fingers, Finally you can got stand one hundred levels the later, hell yeah. soaking in their radioactive orange juice until the very last second where you backflip out just as the dropkick of doom skims your fuzzy anime hairs and you don't lose a second of uptime. As I said, however, this is a high risk. If your timing is off and you spend just a millisecond too long, you that's my favorite word, you MJ is die. greedy, or so in some greedy. cases you'll have to suffer a fate worse than having to read the entire 24-hour chat log of Limza. Damage down. <gasps> Shh, it's okay, nobody's gonna take away your big damage numbers. Papa's here to make sure you don't greed too hard if you're not ready, okay? Okay. Mm. As the melee DPS, you also have first dibs on limit break against most bosses since yours deals the most damage. Specifically when they're single. This is because when you hit the limit break button, you're not actually attacking them. Just showing them pictures of a happy, healthy relationship and nothing hurts more than emotional damage. <laughs> Just ask Ariange. Yeah. But what are the individual <gasps> jobs whom of- Which may lay it said up close slappers to thine adversaries. There are five, and each one is a different flavor of anime and edge. Monk, for those of you who want to go fast, having one of the shortest global cooldowns in the game means you'll be dealing out punches like you're a pissed off caterer at a middle school sock hop. Instead of the traditional combos, each attack puts you in a specific stance. Bird, cat, and monkey. Each one combos into another attack that benefits from each respective stance. Your rotation will be all about swapping stances around more than a kid trying sick moves to impress their crush at a yeah, middle school sock hop. Yeah, Orion's girlfriend died, Orion's girlfriend died in the realm whichever stance you're feeling more at the moment without having to do any of the normal stance setup. If you repeat the same stance three times during your freestyle, you get a purple token on your stylish moves punch card. And if you do three different stances during the freestyle, you get a white one. Do a freestyle with three unique moves one more time while you have both a purple and white tokens on your punch card, and you get to turn it in to make your crush dripping wet with damage because for some reason you get to kick them in the face. The only problem is you are the only melee without a ranged attack to keep your uptime. And although you do have a dash that lets you zip around like Goku on a triple shot ristretto down blend macchiato, if ever you find yourself without a target to punch during combat, you can call time Change out on your now? buffs so they stop Shh. moving while you have a little cry because your crush rejected you at the middle school sock hop. Dragoon is probably the most straightforward of the melee classes. Yeah, and the one most baby, that's me! Backstory. You've got a five-button combo that swaps between hard slaps and sakura flowers and a handful of buffs that will turn anybody else in the party into your partner in dragon slaying. What kind of dragon slaying? That's up for you to decide. They got rid of the partner of thing, didn't they? That makes me so sad. Air, dropping in like a scantily clad human airstrike who's got a date with Nidhogg at five and a party at the quicksand at six. Yes, the Matanga in the room. Dragoon has several damage-dealing jumps funny. necessary to unlock... Morgan! Thank you so much for the raid! Welcome, raiders! Megapixel, thanks for the follow and welcome to the Kobolds. Ram, I spy Joe Cat videos. Yeah! I am doing a 12 hour Final Fantasy XIV marathon because I am just getting into Endwalker. Uh, there might be a little bit of a 47 page PowerPoint that. Anyone who has no idea about the story can look over if they wish. There's a lot of thirsting in there. <laughs> Zorox and Abyssal, thanks for the follows and welcome to the Kobolds. Chat, please go check out- I'm so sorry, I have like a little bit of hiccups because I'm eating food as fast as I can. <laughs> please go check out Morgan, another wonderful streamer. Do you do any 14? I- yeah, so I am currently eating my lunch. So that's why we are watching some Joe Cat videos while I eat all my food and take longer to eat my food because I keep reacting and talking and I just need to sit down and eat my goddamn food. <laughs> How was your stream? What were you playing? I hope everyone is having a great time. Just getting into Endwalker. I hope you have a great time. Thank you. I am really enjoying it so far. Also, um, can you guess? Can you guess who my bias is? Can you guess? Can you guess who my favorite character is? Can you guess who's like nape I want to smell and hand I want to hold? Um, it's Emmett Selk.
I sure did mute myself. Fuck. Nah. <laughs> Whoops. Shit. I was just, I just went on like a huge rant about how like Graha Tia is like 99.9% .9 my favorite character, but Emmett Selk beats him by like what he, Emmett Selk is 100% because Emmett Selk is just too good. But I love Graha so fucking much. Also, uh, this body pillow asset might be the body pillow I have on my actual bed. Anyway. <laughs> I love Graha so much. Uh, in my PowerPoint, the people I fucking slobbered over were Xenos, Emmett Selk, and Yotsuyu. I support woman's wrongs. She did nothing wrong and honestly deserves to be absolved for killing Asahi. And then Graha. One of these things is not like the other. Anyway. Welcome, Raiders. I am going... Thank you so much for sharing your community with me. We are going to go back to the video so that I can uh, try to eat my food real, real fast. I don't remember where we were in the video. We're going to get... As a dragon, I am a dragoon. I am a dragoon. I am... Might be at times called a floor tank. It's okay. And Walker character, I want to see if you go as rabbit over as I did. Ooh, that makes me excited. <laughs> I need a link to that Graha body pillow for reasons. Um, If you check... My Twitter, it is, I would have to go find it. But if you check my Twitter in the media tab, I linked the, I linked the artist for the body pillow on Thursday night stream post. I know that's slightly more work if one of my mods wants to go find it, cough, but. <laughs> Probably the most straightforward of the melee classes. I need to eat my food real quick. Go hunt it. Okay, backstory. perfect. You've got a Thank you. a combo that swaps between hard slaps and sakura flowers and a handful of buffs that will turn anybody else in the party into your partner in dragon slaying. What kind of dragon slaying? That's up for you to decide, which you'll have plenty of time to do while you're suspended 20 moms in the air dropping in like a scantily clad human airstrike who's got a date we'll with Nimon at him. 5 and a party at the quicksand at 6. Yes, the Matanga in the room. Oh Dragoon has several damage dealing jumps necessary yeah, to I unlock special over attacks Zeno's. in their rotation that will lock you that man is feral. Which means you're stuck and unable to move out of your location while the boss is just about ready to piss all over the floor right before you land. So be wary when using your jumps, lest you fling yourself right into a danger puddle and perpetuate the tired singular joke the 14 community has for the class. On the bright side, though, you do get the objectively best job mentor in the form of. Yeah! <laughs> Ninja is great for people who enjoy I American love football Estinian. because for every 10 seconds of excitement, Especially with his high ponytail. Your rotation is all about fitting every goddamn cooldown they took my you can eye, into a right? of time where you make the enemy take more damage. And on top of that, you also have the ability to live out every weeb's dream and do a bunch of hand gestures to cast magic attacks and also drop down into a low position and run with your arms flopping behind you in the breeze. So I did play, I have like a thousand hours on Final Fantasy because when I first started playing Final Fantasy, it was... During A Realm Reborn, like, I was playing while the patches for A Realm Reborn were coming out. Like, the post-pass content, I was doing that live. <laughs> um, and then I stopped playing Partway Through Heaven's Word the first time. And then I started playing back on stream with the Heaven's Word post-patch content. And played until the end of Shadowbringers. And then I took a hiatus for a very long time, so now it's time for Endwalker! Which Final Fantasy yes. objectively proves makes you go faster. You got three hand symbols, and depending on what order you do, you will make a different kind of anime reference. For example, going Chi Tenjin Tenjin Chi Chi Jin unlocks a secret dark ending of Cory in the house and causes the enemy to be susceptible to bonus damage. But maybe you're facing a mob Ooh. of enemies who are immune to a rank powered life form. So you'll win Shadow Bringers with Tenjin Tenjin Chi Jin Ten Chi Jin Ten Chi for three seasons of Sonic Underground, which will kick sand into their eyes with how fast they'll be running circles around the slowpokes. More or less, you'll have to do some studying up on what combos do what, but here's a secret cheat sheet. Only Trick, the final mudra in the sequence matters. Away. Fuck, it's the skill floor police. Cheese it. <laughs> Samurai, the job most likely to have a dick measuring contest with a black mage. I'd be careful though, their dad works at Square Enix. This weeb is the most selfish of the melees as it provides no utility for the rest of the party and instead acts like the average soccer player, focusing on being the star of the show who gets all the attention, especially yeah. when it drops to the floor clutching its Sounds knee when someone sneezes on them. Your attacks contribute to a kink bar, which allows you to shame the enemy in a variety of ways as your katana is also a substitute for a horny guy. So you remember how the monk has a punch card? As a well, samurai, so you, except yeah. yours is your sword and the punches are stickers. You have three basic combos, each one giving you a slight buff and slapping a sticker on your katana and depending on how many stickers you have you will get one of three different rewards when that's you turn in lunch. your sticker sheet with one you sticker again, you'll apply a dot that'll last longer than it takes to clean your room don't lie to me i know a majority of my audience has depression two stickers will charge up an aoe around you and three stickers all right will make once once this video is done i'm gonna throw you all into the brb screen for some word games while i go and clean all my shit i have a dick measuring contest with a black mage yeah yeah it's accurate
Thank you for vouching for Joe Cat's uh, accuracy there. No problem, I feel like it'll last a little longer till dinner than the tacos, but you'll get your tacos soon. Aww, <laughs> thank you. Each sticker attack also gives you an additional separate sticker. Oh, the tank main, so I'm just the punch bag of the party. I cannot tank. I can't tank at and all. finally, the Reaper, the transfer student from Garlemald who got the rest to mauled at the fact that they think they're better than the rest of the melees. Which I mean they are, but don't let any Reaper hear <laughs> you say that. It'll go to their heads. Being the darkest I kind of want to play Reaper. Means that your job gauge I want to live out my edgy boy's life. Similar to the life. Samurai, you my build edgy up boy a bar that can be spent on big slaps. And those big slaps give you edgy boy points that can be spent so on additional fun. big slaps. Except this time, they're Coral Blue number 5 semi gloss lipstick. Once you've kissed enough points to build up your fashion bar, you get to turn into accuracy. a spooky ghost. Slice. You do the spooky slice. The spooky slice. Phelan, thanks for the, the follow and welcome to the Kobolds. Alright, enjoy the rest of work slice. screeching. You do the slice. You do the spooky slice. Well see, and I don't like taking damage. Melee, welcome. And so I like to try to dodge out of I like to try to dodge out of damage, which is really bad to do as a tank. Like I don't want to get hit and I wanna hide behind others. And weirdly enough, um, your party gets mad at you when you try to do that as a tank. Like, they tend to be like, bitch, what are you doing? Get back in there. Why are you like this? Why, why, why are you not holding? Wait, this is a level 80 dungeon. Did you forget? Why don't you have tank stance on? You know, um, all the common complaints that everyone who plays tank gets. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> spin the boss true spinning they can bite me as long as i'm not making the boss do spins of doing my job you're not supposed to get hit by aoe's as a tank but you stay perfectly still directly in front of the boss right isn't that how you play tank <laughs> all right i'm taking you guys to the brb screen the bots gets busy, they can't do damage. Proven 100% true, right? I'm gonna spin the boss like a Beyblade. <laughs> Not if there's an AoE there. I mean, yeah, tanking is a whole different beast from most of the game. I can still target with ground AoEs. You can tank AoEs. Healer will be mad, though. Listen, the healer can stay mad. I say as someone who's also a white maid mage. Anyways. Uh, do you guys want Final Fantasy music, or do you want Boof Pack? I don't hear anything, so we're doing boof pack. I'll be back shortly after I clean all my shit. And once again, thank you, Morgan, for sharing your community with me. I'll be back in like five minutes.
And I'm back, chat! Just keep riding me When I'm slurping him down It's my favorite sound You let out a little moan What a beautiful tone so softly Just keep riding me Good job, chat! Hell yeah! Well done! All right. Thank you for the head pads, Gimbo. Also, do you like my raiders? Do you like my overlay? I made it myself. <laughs> All right. Um, back to 14. I close the game because it gets really mad at me when I tab out and I don't want my stream to lag again. I may have had to restart my stream near the beginning because things got too far behind. Though that was most of the fault of my drawing tablet because apparently if my drawing tablet is plugged in while I'm trying to play a graphics heavy game, my computer loses its mind. Last one was a little challenging. I could see that. Still got quite a bit though. Chad, I can't wait until I get back to my boy Graha. I did the other people's route first, but I want to go see my boy. I want to go smell his hair. Though a Stinian in a ponytail is still pretty good. <laughs> Last one I was surprised was the one I typed no one typed but for half the round. Chat's behaving. Listen, we've had... We haven't had any cursed nonsense this stream, so I'm really proud of chat for behaving. Sometimes it's nice to have a wholesome stream. Is it just me or does the island on the Dawn Trail screen look suspiciously like a Star Destroyer? Oh, it does. Thank you for the head pats. Even if your tablet is off, it counts it as a screen. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, it still tries to count it as a screen even though it's off. So I need to make sure it's unplugged when I do streams now. I didn't even notice the word the whole time till it popped up in the answers. Are we practicing for say so? Oh, true. So the say so, st my computer broke down and I had to get the motherboard replaced, which means I didn't do my say so challenge stream last week. So next week on Wednesday, I'm doing a say so challenge stream playing Bayonetta. Anytime I am unsay so, my thighs get shocked. Uh, since I would never in my life be unsay so. Um, the other way to do it is bits, because that's really the only way you're going to see my thighs shocked. Even got <laughs> my fingers are out of type, I promise. Understandable. <laughs> yeah. I love this one. Like, it's such pretty music for the fact that, like, it's a void scent abomination possessing a cute cat. And then off stream, I might go and get all of the Aether points. Wood fingers? Is there an inside joke where Morgan doesn't have fingers? <laughs> Though my brain has been hyper focused on the new game, ZZZ. Oh, I want to play that. Hey, yo, what that tongue do? 
Frenchie and I love to eat my finger. No eating fingers! People need those, otherwise they can't play video games. And here we are, Kajaya's footsteps. Kajaya was a great dancer, and those who follow in her, well, you know. They come to this place to train and dedicate their dance to their ancestors. A happy benefit of this is that spirit weed grows here in abundance. I'll set about harvesting at once if you'd be so good as to stand guard. The kidnappers aren't likely to return soon, but better safe than sorry. Fingers like intestines can be replaced with equivalent alternatives? No. Bad. No eating your streamers. <sighs> I feel, you know... Sometimes I look at my chat and I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with you with how many of them want to eat my tail? But I think I prefer them going for the tail than my fingers. Also, that's a pretty pink star up there. I like it. Oh, okay, so if we go slightly northeast, there'll be an Aether Current up here. I want to play Zenless. It looks fun. Not a break right away! Uh... Well. Oh, I was just about to jump off the edge. I was just like, well, gotta do what you gotta do. But uh, no, never mind. <laughs> I was so ready to jump. I'm pretty sure you can jump there. There's ground with monsters underneath. Me actively looking for places to break my ankles in 14. Yes, that would be Raj Khan. Hardly anyone has been allowed in or out since our troubles with the tower began. The faithful citizens huddle inside the city walls, and commerce has all but ground to a standstill. I pity the satrap, the trials he must be facing. Aw, my iced coffee's too watered down now. Got later story stuff there? Damn. The boobs and ZZZ jiggle like jello and it's very distracting. Fair. Listen, when boobs jiggle too much, it's very distracting. Like, they only need to jiggle like a normal amount. Some of the animations for Zenless Zone Zero are really over and above. What can you tell me of the satrap? Oh, thank you for the stretch and posture check. Well, he... He is the most important person in Radzatan. And the Sith. Long ago, this island was home to two tribes of Matanga, the Gajasura and the Arkasodra. When the Aura came to these shores, it was the Arkasodra with whom they joined forces. Together they defeated the war like Gajasura, forcing them to flee Thavnair altogether. Peace and prosperity reigned for a time, until a clan of Hyor from the mainland decided they wanted the island for themselves. Honestly, to get like an insane crazy amount of jiggle, you have to have some like that is probably wearing a bra because otherwise gravity, if you have like real big boobs, gravity pulls them down and they don't go like babong, babong, babong. Like certain bras will hold your titty in place. Others, it's going to be like babum, 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 you know? If you got, like, real massive titties and no bra, unless you're, like, going downstairs, they're probably not going to be, like, bouncing that heavily. And in that case, that'll probably hurt. <laughs> it was a direct ancestor of the present Satrap who arbitrated that conflict and welded the warring factions into the nation we know today. And ever since, a member of that esteemed lineage has inherited this somewhat unique position you see by and large the state is run by the people but when problems arise it is the satrap who mediates a solution the stability provided by the satrap is what has allowed rods at Han to thrive all these years and it was the satrap himself who entrusted us with this duty Aww. we will not fail him 
nor our countrymen. Good for her. What is the delay with the vessel? I told you I need to adjust those ratios. There's a reason to hold your tits while running stairs. Absolutely, because otherwise they hurt. Bowling balls don't bounce well even if they're soft. Uh -huh. It's all about the movement range. I've only ever seen bras that held them in play. Well, see, the thing is, when you got, like, enough bounce to your titties, like, bras are mainly to keep them relatively in place, kind of up, like, cover the nips. And so they <laughs> But, like, they don't hold them in place. Let That's why there's... The difference between bras and sports bras and then you can also get push-up bras that make your titties go like woof <laughs> you know i don't know who shark is in zenless zone zero i still need to play it i know i want the wolf and the robot i need that i need to make that wolf butler my bitch you know ellen joe even sports bras have different kind of levels to hold too. Yep. Uh, Billy, you get for free. Ooh. Oh, it's this fucking bitch ass fan Daniel. This way to admire one of my splendid towers, and what do I find? Fools attempting to ward off its tempering influence with magic trinkets. I seem to recall a similar experiment in ages past. What? was that man's name? Oh, something. Oween? Hmm. Oh, another, another body, body another time. time. Who could be expected to remember? I hate his face. Data. Get out of here. Nasty. Why did you have to possess fucking hmm. Asahi? Get out of here. Allowing them to construct such handy talismans counterproductive to my plan. I feel like they made him possess Asahi because they're like, we want everyone to hate him instantly. How do we do that? I actually got Shark on my first 10 draw. Nice. But he's my brolic sling to throw balls filled with cream cheese and regrettable life decisions. Von Lycon, you have to roll for it. Wah. I think Van Daniel's perfect psycho villain. Blech. Van Daniel has the worst taste, right? It's how you know he's nasty. And yet, I find myself deathly curious. How will they manage this feat with the limited knowledge and resources at their disposal? <laughs> Complications be damned. For we cannot escape them. He's like, I should kill them all, soul. but I really want to see what they and do. I, as ever, am my own worst. They're enemy. not under my bras. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, like, I do not like bras with underwire because they didn't. They, I don't like getting stabbed. Yeah, his new voice is much better. Get Asahi's nasty ass voice out of here. And his face. I only want to see Fan Daniel from the back. Hello. I have enough spirit weed to last us a good while. Thank you for keeping watch. Let us head back to the great work, shall we? Sorry, am I not allowed to jump up there? Alright, 213 alms northeast. Alright, chat, we're getting that aether point. Hmm. Damn it! It really won't let me jump off. This is bullshit! This is the worst timeline. Yeah, well. We'll put Torgal back on. I think someone can fly you down early. Yeah, I'm not gonna worry too much about Aether Currents. If there's some that I don't- if there's ones I need to get in areas after stream, I might have someone, like, ferry me around. But on stream, I'm not- I'm gonna mainly try to get through as much, uh, story as possible. Gotta be honest, sometimes I don't wear a spritz bra because the nips rub with sweat when I'm doing work outside. Very fair. You can also just get nipple pasties. Or bandages. Just bandage the nips.
Sometimes I think I should get some nipple pasties just when I don't feel like wearing a bra. Especially in the winter. Well, no, winter it's usually like sweater, enough sweater weather, it doesn't matter. I also need to do more glams. But yeah, I feel like every Saturday for the next little bit, I'm going to be having fun with 14, unless I can't for that week for whatever reason. Maya, my thanks again for your assistance. With your help, we're that little bit closer to completing our talisman. This isn't much, but please accept it as a token of my gratitude. I'm an avid supporter of Free the Tits and not the Birds. Da, da, da. Little does Nidana know she's going to send you on another errand. My glam plates are full. Oh no, I want to redo my glam plates. Because I know that I can make so many more cuter outfits now. Like, there's so many more things out there. You'll excuse me, I shall return to my work on my talisman. Oh, you're both back. Excellent. Excellent. I have a message from you, Mr. Nidhana. It would seem the stores of Giant's Gall are running low. Who is the sassy lost child? What? But when I last looked, there was still plenty! I suspect that was before Urian Jade told everyone about their tempering cure, and Astinian shared his knowledge of dragons. Your peers have si since been inspired to fashion a number of new talisman prototypes. Oh, I see. Well, if it leads to new possibilities, then far be it for me to complain. But we will need to replenish our stores. I should be happy to tend to this if you like. As much as I appreciate the offer, my dear boy, I can't in good consciousness send you out there alone while kidnappers are at large. She can send me, however. Oh, Ramaya, loath though I am to press another task on you so soon, might I ask you to fetch the giant skull? In case you're not familiar, giant skull is a type of ore found on the island. Owing to its hardness and ethereal conductivity, it has applications in many disciplines, alchemy not least of all. The quarry is giant's ground. Yeah, we'll impose. Look how pretty I am with the graphics update! Ah! They knew, huh? Okay. Alright, we're getting to wrap some Hamsa. Whatever those are. I don't need to voice every line. Vandaniel is just when a femboy twink has one bad day. No, I go. Van Daniel is... Uh, I don't even have words. I just hate him. I hate him so much. I hate him so much. Oh, Alchemist or Dancer? What quest is that? That's blue. So is that has to do with the jobs, maybe? Oh, wait. Where is she? Oh, he's right in front of me. <gasps> oh my god, we get to ride Kiwis! Oh, they're so ugly. Hi. They're so ugly. They're cute. Kind of like Iorzia Dodos. All right. Off we go. It's blue, but it, it might have added another Aether Current. Oh, that would actually make sense. I should probably check. They're Dodos. Shh. Dodos and Kiwis look alike, okay? They're pretty much the same thing. Oh! I look so silly riding this in my skirt! I look so stupid! Spectacular formation stretching out is something the sword hold legend hold was wielded by the Manusia against the Murga before it was cast out at conflict's end. Poor thing can't see where it's going. It's trying so hard. Been a bad kobold lurking and not telling you. Thank you for lurking. I appreciate it. All right, there's the tower. Straddle is the small isle. Understood. I hope you've been enjoying lurking. Does it really need to see where it's going? It's just... This is just a new way to do a blindfold, you know? Spread your legs and throw your skirt over it and be like, run forth. Wow, so many new locations. 
I kind of like this way of just having a cutscene to run me over here. Taking in the view. Hmm. This tower sure is ominously evil looking. Air it out? True. Gotta let... Gotta get some airflow under there. And here we are, manned by the Radiant Host. This outpost is our first line of defense against the tower. <laughs> Sounds bad when you put it like that, Yama. Well, well, who should it be but young Varshan? On an errand for the satrap. I am. His Excellency bade me come and collect your report. He also wished to express his heartfelt gratitude to the brave men and women of the Radiant Host for their unflagging dedication. We simply do our duty. We are honored to receive His Excellency's regard. And yet, for his boundless benevolence, the treat his treatment of one so young could be regarded as callous? Though we have enjoyed relative peace and calm the past few days, this remains the front line of battle. No place for children. Your predecessor, too, often traveled alone. It's been, what, two years since you took over? I wonder how the fellow is faring. Like those before him, he went on to represent the satrap in foreign lands. Wherever he may be now, I'm certain he is well. As for myself, I assure you that all I do, I do of my own volition and gladly. I pray you do not think ill of his excellency. Certainly not, lad. Whatever happens, my faith in the satrap is unwavering, but still I worry for you. We would be overcome with sadness if something were to befall you, for you as a, are as a little brother to us all. Take care, do you hear? Orton. I will, Nabdeen. Thank you. I just realized that aside from the um, sip redeems, I have not been drinking any water, and I think half of the sip redeems I've been drinking my coffee. <laughs> Which I'm going to finish off real quick, one sec. Rama, it's... Listen, who needs water? Water is optional, right? Ay, 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 no bonking. <gasps> so rude. Oh yeah, who might this be? Not Hanish, by the look of her. Permit me to introduce Ramia Tenryo of the Eorzea Contingent. Come to assist in the making of the talisman. From Eorzea, you say? Towers have appeared over there too, yes? Tell me what's the situation like. May I suggest that you exchange information with our soldiers? Both parties will perhaps stand to learn something of value, I believe. I mean, fair, I just drank water for the first time today. <laughs> See, I need to drink at least enough water that I need to refill this. Because otherwise, that would be too little water for a full day. An excellent idea. Given the unprecedented nature of the threat, some of ours are understandably anxious. Would be glad for any tidings you can share. You two, bring Farshan the latest report and answer any questions he may have. I'm sorry, is his ass crack hanging out over the top of his pants? Chad, if you go back, he has the plumber's crack. His pants are a little too low riding. It's probably his lower back, but you know, that really just looks like the top of his ass. Oh, are there any aether currents here? Not for a while. Okay. Must be must enjoy the breeze. It occurs to me I have yet to properly introduce our company. We are the Radiant Host, a military order under the Satrap's command. 
Our duty is to preserve peace in the land, be it patrolling the streets or dealing with heretofore unknown threats such as now. Mm, thank you for the stretch and posture and the head pat, Sin. <laughs> How's your day going? <sighs> you think with all the cough... I feel like the full meal has made me slightly eepy, and I'm like, I can't be eepy. I still got, like, nine hours of stream. Actually, more like eight hours. I forgot that I had to restart stream, so we're half an hour behind. Chat, you all stretch, too. Day going good? Just been lurking about. How's your day been? It's been really good. I've been enjoying Endwalker so far. I'm really glad I decided to stream it again. I miss being a 14 streamer. We train hard and admit only capable warriors to our ranks. Even so, we've struggled to contend with the fiends from the tower. Though we succeed in striking them down on the two occasions they came in force, we had to pay a heavy price. What of the towers in Eorzea? Do they likewise spawn monsters? And Walker is such a joy. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yeah! So it's much the same everywhere. With every nation struggling, we cannot expect calls for outside aid to be answered. Oh, is that her name? Because she's a cutie. Cutie you. You wish to know about our tower. To be honest, we know little and less about it ourselves. This Tower of Zod, as folks have takes to calling it, suddenly appeared where it did on the Isle of Nurinair. We're safe from its influence at this difference, but go too far in the water and you'll expose yourself to its corrupting aether. You're a foreigner, aren't you? How are they dealing with the tower in your homeland? Our struggles are not unique, then our hope still lies with the talismans. We must keep the monsters contained until they're ready. I've heard about you, the visitor from Eorzea. Is there anything you can tell us about the Telophori? We know that they're the ones behind the tower and that they've declared war on the world, but why are they doing this? What do they want? This we don't understand. I can't believe we have to tell this guy. Oh, yeah, no, they it's actually just, um, they're just nihilists and want to destroy the world and themselves. Might be pronounced Kudeu. No, I'm going to call her Cutie. <laughs> That's her name now. What? They want to die and take everyone with them? What madness is this? Well, you can bet we won't let the bastards have their way. We'll fight them with everything we have, like our Eorzean and Far Eastern brothers. Finished speaking with the soldiers, have you? I hope it wasn't as enlightening for you as it was for them. As a true, as a neutral nation and trading hub bomb. Hey, Jane! <laughs> Invading your pant, I mean chat. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome Raiders! I am Ramaya, Water Dragon VTuber, and I am a former Final Fantasy XIV streamer who was out for a very long time, and I am just getting back in for Endwalker. Today is a 12 hour stream, and I hope you have fun joining me. There is like a little recap slideshow I might have put together and made like 47 pages of if you don't know the plot. Anyway, <laughs> how are you lovely? How's Final Fantasy? It's going really well. How are you, Jane? Thank you very much for sharing your community with me. Thank you for the raid. What were you playing? How was your stream? Chat, please go check out Lawless Jane, a very cute bloodsucking vampire who whimpers a lot. <laughs> he really likes to be bullied really likes it. <laughs> I'm good, still a little sick, but recovering. We were playing Dead by Daylight. Oh, I hope you feel better soon. Thank you very much I, for rating, and I hope that you can get some rest and relax. I'd love to hear me whimper, which is why you bully me. I'd barely even have to bully you. <laughs> um, But yeah, we are in Endwalker. Pretty early content. We're about like three hours Four Wait, are we four hours into the stream? Damn, I can't believe I've been streaming for four hours. <laughs> I usually play like horror games and next Wednesday I'm having a thigh shocker stream where I have to be say so while playing Bayonetta or I get crisp, my thighs get crispified. Yep. 
<laughs> anyway. Um... As a neutral nation and trading hub both, Radzid Han ordinarily receives a steady stream of news from abroad. Alas, this stream dried up when trading vessels stopped coming. Color me inked, thanks for the follow, and welcome to the kobolds. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Come, you'd best seem to your original errand. Alright. Goodbye. Alright, we're leaving the kid behind and we're getting back on Torgal. Oh. I'm so- What? Oh, <laughs> never mind. I was like, wait, why is the quest marker still here? Apparently we're just supposed to get on the Kiwi again. Though the Hamsa appears to want to return home, it reluctantly offers you its back. That's right. Speak with Radiant Beastkeeper at Hamsa Hatch rate amount it again. Yep. We get to go. Oh, I thought it would auto ride again. Never mind. I got excited. Um. Does it tell me where I'm going? Hello? Where? Hello? Okay. Well, I guess we'll just wander for a bit and hope we figure out where we're supposed to go. Um, I think he said follow the road to the east. Or we follow up here? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Life makes sense now. Oh, the Dead by Daylight anniversary event is over now, isn't it? I did manage to get all of the cosmetics and everything before it ended. I wish they had the events going like all the time. I love getting the extra blood points. That looks like an interesting creature. It's got like a big strawberry on its tail. Oh, those are ugly giraffes. Oh my God, what happened? Why are you so ugly? What happened to you? You look like em emaciated. Oh, baby, you are so ugly. Are you okay? Do you need more food? Okay, anyway, we're gonna just... Listen, I don't have any food for you. Sorry. They're so ugly. Oh, it ran away. So sad. <laughs> oh. I still need to put my poofy pants on. I also want a tank top. This is indeed the Giant Skull Grounds, and I am Zenua. Zenua. Is there something you require? Giant Skull for the alchemists, you say, but of course they shall have it. They labor tirelessly to deal with the tower, and tis the least we can do to provide them with the materials they need. Poor thing getting bullied by Rama. It's ugly! Ram just being mean to the wildlife. You look me in the eye and tell me that camel ain't ugly. Like, look... Does this guy also have his ass out? He does not. That's so sad. Here you are, a sack of the purest giant skull. We always set some aside from our alchemist's friends. He does have, like, a little bit of slutty tummy out, though. When you deliver it, let the good folk of the great work know that we've been grateful for their efforts. If they need more, they need but ask. Oh, right. Only 79. Oh, there's there's the Aether Current. Can't, it ain't ugly. It's doing its... It's ugly. I'm sorry. It's ugly. I always feel so epic on this. <gasps> good boy, Torkel. <gasps> Who's a good boy? Yeah, it's you. Chat, do you think the dam the camel is the ugly Do you think that's what to say? Do you think the ugly camel giraffe is ugly or cute? Okay. Do you think the creature is ugly or cute? One's if you think it's cute, two's if you think it's ugly as shit. I'm voting two, it's ugly. I want their outfit. 
Where do I get that open? What does three mean, Yama? Close-up view? Okay, one sec. Alright, where did it go? How is this cute? It's cute in an ugly way. How is that cute? Oh, ew, thank you. I just needed to show you guys how ugly- I'm sorry, is it casting something? Okay, go away. I just wanted to show chat how ugly you were. You can go back now. I'd say ugly, thank you. Uh, 328 alms southeast. We're gonna do that one real quick. Because that's pretty close. I'd say ugly, okay. Hi, Millie. I sh chat, do you want me to turn off mount music? I'm pretty sure that's one of the options I can do. Um... The same reason why there are elephant people and actual elephants in this game? Looks like a child's attempt at a giraffe that came to life. No, that's up to you. Do you want to hear the zone music? I kind of want to hear the zone music. Where is that option again? Um, control, item, UI. Is it in the main system configuration? Ah, uh, play music when mounted. Thank you. Yeah, we can put it back on later, but I think for now I want to enjoy Thavnir. No! I'm not allowed down yet! Damn it! This is the area I can't go to! Fuck you! Fine, I guess we'll go back here. Redeem the biscuits drop on the wrong 14 character because I'm a genius. Biscuit? Oh no! No cliff diving, but I want to jump off. Also, one sec, I'm getting a little bit of a headache, so I just need to grab some Advil. I have like a little Evangelion pod beside my computer that's filled with medications and like band-aids and stuff. And like, it's really cute. It's really cute and no one can tell what's in it. I got it when I was in Universal Studios Japan. It used to have like a dessert cake. What if I want to jump off cliffs though? <laughs> oh right! No, we're not doing the blue one until later. They wouldn't let me climb the statue of Fabian. I tried to. Just for you. Welcome back, Ramaya. Do you have the giant skull? Here you go. Oh my, such fine specimens. Thank you so much for bringing these. We now have everything we need to make our next prototype. One that should be capable of passing our most rigorous tests. When it's ready, it'll be time for the true test, so please take your ease while you can. Hey, Marin! How's it going? Can we get a shout-out for Marin Go Round, another wonderful streamer? How are you? Uh, feelings are still intact. I think we're still pretty early into Endwalker, so nothing too emotional's happened. I'd say I'm making pretty good plot progress. How are you doing today? I want to swim in this water. I see our taskmasters have allowed you a moment's respite as well. Oh, Astidian's been freed. They're no longer taking blood from him. You have to hand it to these alchemists. They are determined to see this endeavor of theirs succeed. I've never been one for blind optimism, but I sincerely get the sense they're close to a breakthrough. Chat, I miss Scruffy Thancred. Why can't he look like depressed again like scrungly hair dirty like <sighs> he looks too fuckboy 
I miss Sad Dad Thangrid. They had better be, or all this effort was for naught. I like Gunbreaker Thancred, but he just looks like initial Thancred. I need like his hair and everything to look different. Be hair a bit longer, maybe a bit of a scruffy beard. Let my man be happy for the once in his life. Of no. Of the Far East, of Thavnev. Children of this star united in common cause against a dire threat. Mm. Yet ere they succumbed to suicidal madness, were not the Telophoroi born of her body as were we? They who cling to life and the promise of the morrow's dawn against they who desire death and an ending of their own orchestration. Slight aside, but Chad, is it just me or do the Aetherites look prettier now? Is that a graphics update or is it just the ones over here are prettier? The victors of this war alone will hold the right to answer the question of existence, of its meaning, and its worth. Mm. Poetic and ominous to a fault. That's Graphics said, update? If it's an existential debate in nature, then our arguments might not be as persuasive as you think. Okay, he doesn't need to necessarily look depressed, but he needs to look less baby. Like, the man needs to look scruffier so he can be hot. I'm sorry. Than Daniel wants to die and take everyone with him in an orgy of pain and suffering. An utterly vile and unforgivable idea. Fuck Than Daniel. Kill him. And yet, and spat upon by fate and wailing in the deepest pit of despair, who among us can say they have not entertained similar thoughts? There are nights black as pitch, bereft of hope. Oh. No words of comfort can reach you. And it's all you can do to grit your teeth and choke back the bile. I may slightly regret saying that I miss him sad. <laughs> the more you see and suffer life's injustices, the more difficult they become to bear. Aww. Vengeance is nurtured in similar soil. I Though am. your anger has a broader focus, the sentiment is much the same. A fervent desire to destroy others. To see them drown in torment, as you have. Astinian gets it. That about sums it up. The will to endure is not always as strong as the urge to burn it all down and salt the earth. Survival Fair. be damned. It's a struggle, often close and brutal. Indeed. Well, I, for one, shall pray survival prove it. More That's appealing in the end. Whoops. Besides, I'm sorry. our chances are much improved when we've the company of others committed to the cause of life. Our vengeful dragoon here is proof of that. Angie Trash Husband! Angie Trash Husband, I love him! Oh, hey, bitch! You're a bitch ass! Get back here! Get back here so I can beat the shit out of you! What Motherfucker! Did you, what did you see? I want to stab him in the dick. Uh, Fan Daniel was eavesdropping because he has no friends. Fandaniel. Are you sure? If he knows we've been working on a countermeasure. It holds. The vessel holds. This is the one. They did it! At long last. Woo 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 woo! Good job, alchemists. Look, we have finally created a talisman strong enough to withstand our experiments. We've named it a warden oh, scale for the time. Oh, pretty. Being. With this in your possession, your soul should be completely shielded from corruptive ether. That's actually really pretty and has gems and everything. P <sighs> Pinky, thank you for the 10 reps, I suppose. All right, 10 squat time. Yeah, exercise redeems are back with points or subs. You can make me exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Yama, what are you doing there? What what you got there, Yama? Yama, what you doing? Huh? Huh, Yama? Ten push-ups? Boo. Boo, I hope you know I'm doing knee push-ups. Boo. <sighs> push-ups. Disgusting. Disgusting. You must hate me. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Done with the patching work today. Got blue jeans done. Hell yeah. Just to find as your arms get work. Elephant needs some moisturizer. No, they just have very wrinkly skin. Yeah, hi, Pinky. Thank you for the sip, Yama. Oh, I might actually need to get more water soon. I chugged a lot when I realized I hadn't been drinking any. Afforded such protection, any one of us may approach the towers without fear. Thou hast mine admiration. Tis an invention of historical significance. They did so good. Thank you for your kind words. But I would prefer you keep them unsafe. Oh, can Thancred not get tempered because he doesn't have Aether you. now? It or can he still get tempered, technically? Plan, we summoned you in the first place to accompany me to the Tower of Zot. <gasps> it had better work. As I very much hope it will, then you'll have little to do. But should the effect be weaker than anticipated... He still can? Lame. I must ask that you restrain me or knock me senseless. Understood. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Oh, you needn't ask. <laughs> oh yeah, no, don't worry. I would have, I would have knocked you out anyway. Don't worry. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. I'm not gonna be like, yeah, no, don't worry. I was just waiting for an opportunity to knock you out. Either way, we are fortunate to have you with us. Just can't channel Madonna, it. Uh... I, I, are you certain you wish to do this? She's there. Aww, they all care about her so much. If others are to trust our creations, then we must have faith in them first. And as the senior researcher, it falls to me to lead by example. But should I fail to return, then learn what you can from this attempt and She had better not rest. fucking die. Our work must continue. Is that clear? We'll keep an eye on the place while you're away. Assuming Fan Daniel is lurking about. There's no She has too many people who love her. That's us. stressing me out. Be on your guard. Shall we be on our way? I'll have one of the soldiers at the hatchery prepare us a boat, and we can set out from the northern shore. I'll see you there. All right, Chad, are you ready for the Tower of Zod? Time to go north. Oh, I suppose I can actually just go directly along the coast. Let's try that. Ah? I do really like the look of Thavnir. It's pretty. Maybe not the tower, but you know, everything else. Oh my god! That is a fucked up looking walrus! I don't think I want to fuck with them. Maybe not. Oh, I forgot! I should have the earrings that you got from getting the pre-order. Do I not? Hmm. I thought I had those.
Oh, they could be in the armory chest. Hi, Mad Bomber. Do you think this is how conspiracy theorists see 5G towers? Absolutely. I think so. Did you pick up the mail from the pre-order code? Yeah! That was when I went to um, the free company house and I was sitting there like, what the fuck is this thing? And y'all were like, a mailbox, you dumb bitch? Something random? Uh, screeching, you are a very interesting piece of needlework. I know there's a thing for armory control I. Hmm. Oh, earrings. Yeah, I have the Aetherite earrings, but that's level 70. Hmm. Try the blue mat on the character screen for the recommended gear. Oh, this one. Oh, wait, I'm over level 90. Never mind. I'm too high level for that. I guess that's for lower ones, because I'm already at level 92. <gasps> Midnight! Thank you very much for the bubble tea! Let's go! Thank you! I appreciate it! You're level 82? That looks like a 92 to me. <laughs> Can we get some hearts in chat for midnight grabbing me the bubble tea? I have to put two bubble tea on because uh, otherwise it's under the minimum order limit. So I'll have one soon and one for later. Thank you. That'll be nice for a hot day. Rather finer boat than I expected, but I won't complain. Share boba? No. All just for me. My boba. All that remains is to board and be on our way. Oh, and if I should become corrupted, don't stay your hand. Of course, I pray it doesn't come to that, but you must protect yourself. Other alchemists can fulfill my role, but you and your blessings are one of a kind, and perhaps our only hope for toppling this tower. For all our sakes, do not hesitate to do what must be done, whatever that may be. Well, the longer I draw this out, the more nervous I become. Let's be off. <sighs> Tough but fair. Hi, Yalitz. Also counts towards content under level... What do you mean content under level 90 for additional experience? Hmm? So this is... They're level 82. Boo. Just doesn't want to say she wants two booba. Booba? Boba instead of one just needs to quench her graha thirst. Listen. <laughs> I can quench my graha thirst right here. Doing a little mm -mm 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 -mm. Check the button above your weapon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I have my rec recommended gear. Like dev two booba two, please. Two booba teas, please. Oh, I forgot. I got some uh, cowgirl V Gen art back. See, <laughs> there might be some cowkini art that will pop up uh, at some point. Gotta put the earrings on. If you're like level 100 doing 82 dungeon while wearing the earrings, you'll get bonus experience because it's dropping your level for the dungeon. Huh. I think two brown sugar boobas if you don't want them. <laughs> Give me boobers. Give me death. I too want booba tea. It is boba. Boba tea. Boba tea. Uh, it's passion fruit green tea with lychee jellies. 
And then um, a, it's like a lychee yakult. I don't know how to describe it, but it's like a fancy yogurt drink. Yeah, if you're level 100, like, you wouldn't be able to get any extra experience unless it's going on to other characters. Or does it give you something else? Alright, we're ready to go. Yes, you'd code Ramaya for 10% off gamer subs. Saying a hundred as an Should example, okay. The threshold of the tower's influence. I keep associating this song with the uh, Asians. Any moment now. Come on, come on! <gasps> oh, she gets a little shields. It's working. And you, you are still yourself? Then I'd like to see how it fares closer to the tower if we could. It isn't assholians. Emmett Selk was not an asshole. Van Daniel and La Habrea, on the other hand, absolutely. Emmett Selk was peak. If anything happens to her, I will lose my mind. So far, so good. The scale's protection appears to be holding. If we can just make it to the tower. See you later, entrance. Screeching. I feel like we need to be like right beside her, not that? so far back. Oh, please be okay. Please be okay. Please be okay. Come on. Hold. Hold. Praise be to the sisters. We made it. And the scale has proven itself to be everything we hoped it would be. Yay! Now we can focus on production. Once we've equipped and returned with an entire survey team, this menace will soon give up its secrets. Aren't monsters coming out of here? Like, why are you standing in front of the big empty black void of the door where monsters come out? Girl, be right next to me. What? No! Fuck! God damn it! No! You leave her alone! God fucking damn it. The tempering was not the only thing! I was just watching that going like this. She's getting yoinked. She's getting yoinked. There's no way she doesn't get yoinked there or something come out from back and stab her. Why were we not right beside her? Oh. It is really fucked up that they all end up like trapped in the walls. Fan Daniel, you piece of shit, you leave her alone. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, do calm down. You'll only hurt yourself thrashing about like that. Oh my god, I want to punch my monitor just so I can punch Stop. his stupid fucking face. Oh, you can't do this. Please. Save her. No. A little late for heroics, I'm afraid. Mm. You fuckers are striking. My, my, such hostility. I fucking hate him. He's such a piece of shit. My patrons of old would have positively squealed in delight. Though, between you and me, I find gushing praise exhausting. Nilhana. Fuck. Oh. The instant everyone was saying goodbye to her. 
I had a feeling she was gonna die at the tower the instant that everyone started fucking... Patrons of old. Did you just throw... You... Allow me to tell you a story. Surely you've yet to hear the one about Van Daniel, the sundered Asian. Fuck Van Daniel. Van Daniel's a piece of shit. Hi, Angel. I love you. Thank you for shouting out Angel Steps. Chat, you should all go follow her. Chat. Angel, he just killed the fucking sweet elephant. Stole her goddamn fucking badge and tempered her and threw her in a goddamn wall. I hate her. I hate him. I fucking hate Van Daniel. I hate him. He's such a piece of shit. I love you, though, Angel. You know, oh my god, I hate- I don't give a shit about the story of Van Daniel, the Sundered Asian. Van Daniel's a piece of shit! I inherited the position and the soul of the Van Daniel who sat on the convocation in the time of the final thank days. Thank you for the Theoretically speaking. Pinky, thank you for gifting a sub to Fanny Daniel. And Walker's gonna have you on an emotional roller coaster. I'm not ready. Practically speaking, that fact is of no consequence. I was born and lived as, well, me. No one has ever enjoy, I will. <sighs> Eventually, I was recruited into the Asians and imbued with the former Fan Daniel's knowledge and memories. But I never felt that they were truly a part of who I am. That is actually kind of fair that he doesn't like he was his own person and he doesn't feel like Van Daniel's him. How to explain? But perhaps if I told you who I was hmm. before my Asian embrace, although that chapter too is a past I've long since discarded. Oh yeah, no, um the chat Yeah, the chat box. The chat widget is a $10 Final Fantasy fourteen chat widget I can send you. Everything else I made myself. <laughs> but yeah, the chat widget you can grab. God. Ugh. MJ got you. God. Are we gonna get a sad backstory? Do I care about his sad backstory? I have it on good authority. You've poked your nose. Wait, was he an alligator? or two? Yes. Then I expect you've heard of me. The old. Wait. Hello? I'm at, at your service. service. Holy shit! Imagine a nation of unbridled prosperity. Every need met. Day Wasn't he like the ruler of, of broken, the elegance? They fucking destroyed themselves by being too ambitious and greedy and doing big tech. Yeah, the big hat guy from the Crystal Tower. For decay. You are a genius without peer, Amon. Oh, the curtain call man. Oh, experience. my God. That fool was beside himself with panic when he awoke with the head of a bull. <laughs> Even his cries for help emerged as so much guttural lowing. I... You know, that's fucked up. They're like, oh, ho, 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 it's so funny. You turned that man's head into a bull and he was panicking and freaking out and maybe pause the ads this time. Like, what the fuck? It's like, oh, my God. Oh, the memory of it. <laughs> my poor sides. My friends and I were so consumed by laughter, we struggled to breathe. Bro. No more than They're fucked up. Bored wastrels, ignorance of its worth. My all consuming work. Thank you. But it was not their only indulgence. So they're all just like really nasty people. For they were ever hungry for stimulation. 
slaves to the slightest mm. hint. So like fucking gross hedonists who just get like worse and worse. Our nation was ailing, but I would see the poison purged. <gasps> Wait a second, did he destroy <laughs> Alligan? Our first and greatest emperor. <laughs> He's like, wow, you all suck. I'm pressing the reset button. Go fuck all of you. He set our way with empire back on the path. Okay. An inexhaustible ambition carried us onwards. Always onwards. Yet, Interesting. He who delivered to us such glory was not to be satisfied. Heed me, Armon, no matter how vast one's empire or full one's treasure vault, all is rendered meaningless by death. In the end, all is lost. Man, the Crystal Tower raids sure did turn out to be important. You know as well as I that the Emperor stands to lose this war. And so I have come to claim- <gasps> My boy! Look at his fucking kissable lips! It's him! It's him, chat! It's Emmett Salk! Here he is! There he is! For while your methods leave something to be desired, we cannot deny the results of your work. And as fortune would have it, the seat of Van Daniel, your rightful seat, lies vacant and waiting. Take your place among the There he is! Rather than die a pointless death amidst the ashes of your doomed nation. Send one of your clones to the Crystal Tower that you might see for yourself. Ooh. See what lies ahead. Interesting. The fall of the Empire affirmed the truth. Majestic and tragic, as the Emperor foresaw. Listen, you can't grow an empire forever. Stay as you like, build as you will, nothing endures. What is no. life but a brief jaunt ending in emptiness? Okay, this man really is one hell of a nihilist. Bro, then just die yourself. Don't take the rest of us out with you. Damn. Okay, so he was part of the ancient Allegan Empire. So resurrected distracted. Why, why, why. I almost I left, left without, without saying, saying farewell. farewell oh I hoped he was gone get out of here get your bitch ass out of That's my face friend, friend. you need, you need worry. Worry. These, these pawns, pawns are far are more, more useful to me to alive, alive as, as fuel, fuel for the prime uh, 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 uh. if you if attempt to pull them free they, they will die, die. so, so Enjoy, Enjoy tackling, tackling that conundrum, conundrum with your, with your comrades. comrades. I hate him! We're, We're gonna free her! Again. Fuck you! Not in one of these mine spires. Oh, oh, no, no. But, but somewhere, somewhere more suitably grandiose. grandiose. Your, your favorite, favorite playmate, playmate is, is ever so eager. Xenos, 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 fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, Xenos, fuck me, Xenos, fuck, 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 yes, 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 favorite playmate, favorite playmate. Um, mm-mm. Anyway. <clears throat> I'm calm. <sighs> Hi, Arctic. How's it going? I hope you're doing well. Hi. Damn. Oh, we probably didn't need to snooze those ads, but yeah, that's fair. All right, chat, you're allowed to talk again. Oh, I'm so mad that Fandaniel killed fucking Nidama. Lurking, gotta say I love your game character's outfit. Belly dancers are my greatest weakness. Yeah, figured since I was in Thavner. May as well. She deserved so much better. Like, ugh, 
Fuck Fan Daniel. Now we have to go back and be like, hey, so your talisman worked, but Fan Daniel decided to murder you for it. He just said they're alive. Okay, well, she's not dead dead, but she's stuck at a wall, and if we pull her out, she's dead. I can't remember if she's tempered or not. Uh, doing well. I hope the evening's going well. It's going good! I'm enjoying the content a lot so far. Wish you the volume of the game was a tad higher during those cutscenes. Uh, how did the rest of you feel about the volume? Because I'm not sure how much louder I want it to be. Because I already turned it up quite a bit. Felt like the volume was right on point personally. Thought it was fine. Fine. Okay. Because yeah, sometimes it's like a personal preference versus like a stream type one. OST has a bad habit in this game of getting really loud, so I'd be hesitant to rate it. Raise it? Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, I have the volumes up pretty close to 100 for the voices. Yeah, it's all good. It's good to mention it, because then, like, if I go, how does everyone else feel? And everyone's like, oh, yeah, it's quiet. It's really quiet. Yeah, you can turn it up then like it's good so i am happy like it's always good to mention it <laughs> and i do appreciate mentioning it even if i do end up going like nah <laughs> yeah because i'd i would much rather people be like hey this is a bit quiet for me and then because then everyone that's the only time everyone else is like oh yeah it is really quiet and i'm like what do you mean what do you mean you've been sitting here for the last two hours and it's been too quiet for all of you <laughs> so yeah no it's uh, it's always really good to do that but yeah sometimes i'll just be like Where's Mistress Nidhana? She's stuck in a wall. And not the good type of stuck in a wall. Manusia preserved just when we succeeded in making the talisman. I must report this at once. Meanwhile, preter please return to the great work. I once went a whole stream with Code Vein where like you couldn't hear me at all because the music was too banger and no one told me the whole VOD was ruined. Oh no! It's like how you're muted for 20 seconds and no one spoke until I did. All right. Back to the great work. Just came by to say hi, avoiding spoilers. Super fair, Bruiser. Thank you very much for stopping by. I hope you're having a great night. Or a great day. It's only like three in the afternoon. I can't say have a good night. <laughs> I might need to pause and get more water soon. Something's gone awry, hasn't it? What happened? I'm gonna fight Van Daniel. I'm gonna grind his bitch ass into the ground. I'm gonna shove him in a locker and piss on his clothes. And then make him wear them. And then shove him back in the locker. Because fuck him. Thank you for the stretch and posture check. <laughs> That's so funny, Jace. Thank you for the sip, Yama. Says Fan Daniel after all. Damn that bastard! I'm sure you wanted to do more, but you were right to return here first. We must tread warily lest we endanger Nidhana and the other captives. Ba, ba, ba. Thancred's wearing a grim expression. First, I want to just inform everyone of the situation, Nidhana's colleagues included. I'll call them together for a gathering, but I think it would be best if you were the one to explain. Alright, so the ads are going to start in like 50 seconds, so... I'm probably going to throw you guys on the BRB screen and go get some more water when they start. Oh, Nidhana. Can you answer me this? Though Nidhana's trapped in the tower, she's still alive, yes? <sighs> then... Then we must make warding scales, as many as we can. The prototype works perfectly. This Nidhana proved at peril to herself. So let us make more scales that she and all who were taken might be saved. Hell yeah! Aye, as alchemists, this is how we'll win the fight. 
Yeah, the be there might be a little bit cut off by ads, but I think that's okay, because we only get one more snooze. My friends, the satrap has been made aware of the tragedy. He offers his heartfelt condolences and reiterates his pledge to provide you with all you require. Alright, so we get a Link Pearl. As for our Eorzean visitors, I bear an invitation. In her report, Mistress, Mistress Nidhana noted your vital contributions to the talisman's creation. Alright, we get to meet the satrap. In addition to thanking you in person, he'd like to discuss further avenues of collaboration. And if, if that is agreeable, will you not accompany me to Rats at Hand for an audience of His Excellency? Let's do it! All right, and then it is about time for an ad break, so I'm gonna... We're gonna turn the volume down real low for a moment. Actually, we'll leave that where it was. Master volume down to zero. And then I'm gonna put you guys back on work games. Hope y'all enjoy. I will see you in a moment.
All right, I am back. Human centipede, human centipede. Human centipede, not ironically. Mine was a highlight. I like it for the plot. Cool. Human centipede, please God save me. I don't want to get stabbed, he said. Human centipede with a ton of pot. I admire the narrative of character growth. All right, back to the game, everyone. <clears throat> oh, Fabian, did you get back just in time for the word games to be over? Oh, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> Damn. Is that the guy who did the D&D short song? Yes, it is. All right, up we go. Mission failed, get him next time. True, there will be more word games. Don't you worry. I haven't had to do a single fight yet. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> or like I haven't had to sit do a single dungeon yet. I'm like, damn, how far in is the first dungeon? Gir I got Girl DM's version of Human Centipede. It is Girl DM's version's fun. She has some good covers. You know, when when. Hey, listen. I don't need any anim. Oh my god. What a big frog. All right, so we need to go somewhere up here so we can tell us how the fuck we're allowed to get down. You and you got this, Rama. Thank you. I just want to go down. Okay, we're allowed down this hill. When I ask questions, they are rhetorical. I don't want to know the answer unless I explicitly ask. Cute giraffe friends? They're ugly! They're ugly as hell! There's so... Oh. What's over here? Oh shit! I should have checked if there's an aether thing. Okay, the aether is down. They look like they're starving! Oh! <gasps> I'm going to talk to Astinian every time I see him. When last I visited, the city was brimming with life. I expect the towers dampen the mood somewhat. You know, I need to play with Angel at some point, and we need to both have, like, body pillows and sit next to each other while we play something cozy. <laughs> Just sit there being like, ah, yes, this is perfect. <laughs> Planning on doing some 14 on Monday. Ooh, if you're free, ooh. -hoo. Depends on the time, because I will be on Vil's stream at about five my time for a couple hours. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd absolutely be down to join. Touch base with you on that later. <laughs> Are you completely current? Are you in Dawn Trail? All right, I'm ready to meet the satrap in some of the end patches of Endwalker. Oh, hell yeah. All right, we got to stick close to him. Almost to Dawn Trail. Nice. A vast rock squats upon Favnir, and to its stony surface clings the city. It keeps raining. 
Why am I getting all these beautiful scenes of how pretty Thavnir is in like monsoons? <laughs> Gotta lurk, 07 and enjoy Endwalker, baby. I will. Thank you for lurking and Ye thank you for stopping by. To the scrutiny of gods, the Welcome to England. Boo. The orb which beholdeth the truth of all things. Because I don't know. Isn't this an island? Rain sounds like a common thing. Yeah, but it doesn't need to do like monsoon style Past rain at least like twice in the last. Peace. Well, I'm trying to do these. Bearing down oh. Like a second midday sun. Hot piercing gaze, you say? Ooh. I feel like they should just m make it sunny, even though if it doesn't make any sense. A mixture of sweet incense and acrid smoke. The cries of merchants mingled here with lively melodies accented by dancers' feet. Ooh. Travelers seduced by vivid sound and colors. What vivid colors? Everything's washed out by rain. I feel like this would all be so beautiful if it wasn't constantly raining. Like, this looks like it should be so beautiful. But no such scenes to savor now. I'd savor you. To what present does that divine eye bear witness? Beauty Seattle. When you go to India during the rainy season. Let me out, I want sunny! God, there's a lot of cute Thavnarian dancer girls. Including a me! It's me! I'm the cute Thavnarian dancer. One day I'll get to shake my ass in a VR chat dance world again. Here we are. Megadota. It seems a shame to bring you here directly. Under normal circumstances, it would have been my pleasure to show you the sights. Don't worry, and we'll come back. It would our pleasure to see them. I love all the Alas, elephant decor. Seems our tour of the city will have to wait. This place I'm looks so much better so. when it's sunny. It come. feels like a place that's pretty in the sun. Inside. I'm just having really bad timing when I'm doing all the pretty environmental stuff, apparently. You're a water dragon skill issue, TBH? I'll microwave you, bitch. Your Excellency, may I present our honored visitors? Ah, splendid. Most splendid. I'm sorry, does he have... I'm sorry, is his mustache made of scales? He has a scale mustache? The man's just like, I don't need to grow body hair. Instead, I will have scale mustache and scale beard. He's like, I'm going to have drip on like forever. A full scale beard. Like, do you think that's natural or do you think he like somehow figured out a way to do that manually or just like stuck it on with glue or something? Allow me to introduce myself. I am Ahawan, Satrap of Radzatan. That is very clearly a thin mustache of hair. No, that is, that is, that is his scales. That is pretty amazing. This is serving, not gonna lie. Oh yeah, this man is serving Major Cunt. Our alchemists tell me your assistance was invaluable in the creation of the warding scale. Oh, I like his voice Such too. deeds ought to be recognized in Hi. person. Thus did I have young Varshan convey you here forthwith. On behalf of my people, May I express to you our sincere gratitude? Ooh, hi. Not everything went to plan. Nidhana wish she was taken. A regrettable incident indeed. 
Her colleagues insist that we honor her wishes and trust in the talisman, that it will be instrumental in saving Nedana and the others. I am eager to hear your opinion on the matter, so let us not stand on ceremony. Come, sit. I like that his just has like a couple more decorations on his chair. I think not. Uh, this charade has gone on long enough. Show yourself. Estinian? Forgive me, but were you expecting musicians, perhaps? There are no performers waiting in the wings at present, but arrangements could be made if you'd prefer. Nay, he hath the right of it. The time for artifice is past. Raise the curtain. Oh, is he like Wizard of Ozing this shit? All right, As so he's a wish. fake. I wonder if Astinian saw like the real one at some point. Astinian would look cool with a mustache. You as assistance to the students of but you are no Why are they playing the Midgar Sormer music? <gasps> Wait, the ruler is a dragon. Oh, so the ruler is just straight up a dragon with a mouthpiece. I am Vritra, and for years uncounted oh. have this eye <laughs> served as my abode. He has. This dragon looks very different from the other ones we've seen. Like, his entire. everything looks a bit different. Vritra, of the first brood. Sibling to Hreisvelga and Nidhogg. Oh, so he's one of the OG dragons. I, my elder brothers, Ooh. of Midgard Sormer's spawn, I was last to hatch. Shit. Well, isn't this a surprise? We were told Rods at Harn had an alliance with a dragon. Not that a great worm sat in the Sartrap's own hall. Yeah, no, they're ruled by the dragon. A necessary subterfuge, as the true tale of our nation history illustrates most effectively. Uh, was the room built about round him? How does he exit? Well, if you look behind him, I'm pretty sure, like, that looks like a gigantic door. So he probably goes in and out through there. In the beginning, the rock upon which our city is built was home to Vitra, and Vitra alone. God, I want a stone mustache. In time... The ancestors of the Matanga came to the island and established a foothold. But never did they dare disturb the worm's lair. Next to arrive with the Aura, adopting the example of the Arkasodra allies, they too treated Vitra with reverence and respect. And for many years, an understanding between They're our all just chilling together, I like that. Worm. Until Marauding heroes from the mainland came. It's always humans that ruin everything. Humans are the worst. When it seemed all would be drowned in blood, Vitra himself <sighs> Why are humans came like forth this? and quelled the rising conflict. Where did my chapstick go? A peaceful accord was reached and oaths sworn in Vitra's name. Thus begun the dragon's governance of the fledgling state, which was to grow into Rad's Athan. All the worst people I know are humans, right? But if Vitra is still here, then your position as Sartrap is just... Yeah, just a mouthpiece. A charade, yes. And one which my family has performed faithfully for generations. Let's be fair, humans have adopted the bad part of every other species. Many envy the great worms their power. Were it known that I ruled here, there. then the fires of war would burn without end. Well, why here is the least played race unconfirmed? I think it's because humans are boring. Why would you mess with dragons? Because if you eat their eyes, you gain like unlimited power. I would not be the flame which consumeth my people. Those few who join me in laying our country's foundations were, perforce, sworn to secrecy. Your eye, it was taken. 
Oh, he's missing one of them. Tis here, buried oh. within the semblance of flesh. The body before thee is but a simulacrum, constructed by the finest artisan oh, shit. of Razatan. With mine eye nestled within, it doth serve as an inconspicuous vessel for my wit. So Varshan is literally just the dragon. Just in like a little robot body puppeted by his eyeball. Okay, so Varshan is just... Okay. Well, uh, damn. That would explain why I felt the presence of a dragon upon our first meeting. And that's why he looked so intently on the spear. Like, there was a very significantly heavy look when he saw Astinian. It wasn't just, huh, spear, dragon blood. Like, it was like a... Hmm. I am woven with words fashioned to deceive such arcane senses. Though twas short lived, it seemeth thy fusion with my brother hath left Synthetic me meat much suit, altered. yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. He can sense dragons now. From the very first, we sense the nature of one another. Yet did neither one of us bear his fangs. Thank you for the follow and welcome to the kobolds. That is all I need know of thee for now. That's actually a really neat way to go about that. Thank you for the set. With my secret thus revealed, I have for you a proposal. Not as a worm of the first rule. But as the ruler of Rads and With all haste must we take in hand the finished talismans and breach this foul spire. Thence, Ooh. should it lay within our power, dispel its wicked influence. So, like, we need to go in right yeah, around right now, just bum rush it. Of the warding scales, the narrow confines of the <gasps> Are we about to have our first side. dungeon? And thus denied strength in numbers, thou must yeah, choose thy soldiers. Yeah, baby. Just so. Yet though our radiant host is formidable, I see a sure path before me. Just use us. Thou and thy comrades have contended with a multitude of primal beings. Most recently, thou didst cast down false gods I don't in the Pagathan. I don't remember where Paglathon is. Tis upon that strength I would call. The Scions have proven themselves the most capable, and I ask that you serve as the tip of our spear. I can serve more tip than that, Ao. <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, be provided for each of thy companions, and should you agree to this undertaking, more will be provided. To make use of as you see fit. All the no dragon scales we want. Gimme, gimme, gimme. But the rewards may far outweigh the risk. Tip Just for tail. think of what we might accomplish if we could equip all our allies with warding scales. Why are you censoring me? I don't have a tip out right now. I said I could. Not that. Oh my god, I don't need to be censored. Ablative, no. No. I it's worry, however, that even the four of us may be too few for what you have in mind. Might we regroup with our friends first to discuss the matter? Cookie Lena, thanks for the follow and welcome to the Cobalt. C Cypher, hey, hey, I don't steal my FPS, I just got it back! I don't want to lose my FPS. Hello, though. I hope you're doing well. Tis no trifling task. That I have laid before you. Go. Steam your hearts and ba, 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 your ba, 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 ba. Such. It seems a quick trip back to Charlian is in order. Oh. I'm guessing we have to do the other half of the plot quests now. No dungeon yet. Man, I want to slap his ass. Whether your request be made as a great worm or the ruler of Rods at Han, 
I see no reason to refuse, nor will I. Yeah, let's go, Estenian. I am in thy debt. This room is also so fucking pretty. Once the Indian puts his hair up, that man's become goaded. I mean, he was goaded even before he put his hair up, but... Oh, this is so pretty! I want in! Let me in, you fuckers! Alright, so I already got all the... that stuff done. Back to Charlian. Sunny again, right after the cut, right? Now that everything's in beautiful sun- As soon as the cut scene's over, we get to see it all in beautiful, beautiful sunrise. Or sun- Blah. Words. Okay. <laughs> now it'll rain when the next cut scene happens? Oh, absolutely. I wonder if I'll have to wait until... Just as I was getting used to balmy Thavnir, we're back in chilly Charlian. Take care not to detch your... catch your death, eh? We need you for the battles to come. Now then, your investigation here remains, but when that's over, we can take stock of all the developments and discoveries. I want to climb him like a tree. Yeah, I feel like some of the cutscenes, they should just do sunny weather. Be like, we don't care what the actual weather is, we're just gonna have it go nice. What is that skirt? Eastern Lady Loincloth. Someone remember that for me, for no particular reason. No, par no reason in particular. Oh, right, we're no longer gonna be in Thavnir. Time for a new outfit. I'm gonna go back to this one. This one's my favorite. That's on the store. Uh... So I need to buy Emmett Selk off the Mog store, but I need people to stop me from buying anything else off the Mog store. Because honestly, I'm going to want to buy so many cosmetics and I just can't. Did something happen and you had to start stream again? Yeah, so turns out that since I had my tablet plugged into my PC, um, it was causing a bunch of like lag and jittering issues with the game. Because it was tr since my tablet monitors my main monitor, it was essentially, despite the tablet being off, <laughs> It was like losing its mind and being like, nothing, the ear tablet can't handle these spray. Ah, oh god. Yes, this is what was happening. Ah. Given to your impulse shopping or just, just kidding. Me just puts up a donation goal who wants to buy me cute items from the mug store. <laughs> Thank you for the sip, Yama. I've seen that with weather in other MMOs where the characters are reacting to something in the distance. That sounds awesome, but you can't see it because of rain or fog. It's the worst. I know there's a top I'll probably end up buying anyway. Eastern Lady Loincloth? Yeah. Thank you for the stretch and posture check, Midnight. Oh. So that only took almost five hours of stream to finish that section. <laughs> Remember when you could give people cosmetics from the store, Pepperidge Farm remembers? They should let you do that again. 
I miss that because sometimes people would be like, here, you want that? I'll just gift it to you. And I was like, yes, thank you. Gotta re-download this game. Let's go maybe look into a longer cable or a power bar for your child. No, it's specifically because of like, it's not... No, I need to have my tablet plugged into my TV so I can draw with it. <laughs> like, I need it plugged into my PC so that I can draw. I just need to make sure it's unplugged if I'm streaming, especially a game like this. That's the issue, is it's trying to be like, hey, this monitor can't handle it, despite the fact that it's the tablet's off. My directions were easy enough to follow, I hope. In any case, you stand now before the door... Of Nomen, Charlian's greatest, grandest collection of books and tomes. The building is actually only an entrance, and one of many at that. For the archives of Nomen extend deep beneath the surface like roots of a tree. The vast halls of the Great Google Library pale in comparison to Nomen's endless maze of subterranean chambers. Any citizen of Charlian is free to enter and peruse its shelves. Well, most of its shelves, only archons are afforded access to certain restricted vaults. I've dispatched Yashola and Raha to investigate those. Meanwhile, Alice and Alfino will help me continue my search through the stacks open to the general public. Your status presents more of a problem. As a non-citizen, you're only permitted to the f browse the first flora here at the entrance. Even so, there should be a number of books which touch upon Charlian history or foreign policy. Your task will be to find and study the ro- What the f- I no! The Warrior of Light is meant to kill primals, save the world, not read. No! Who is trusting me to research? No! What was what sound? Did I make a weird noise? Was there a weird noise in my house? Read, you'll read and you'll like it. No! You can't make me read. I will not read. You can't make me. I was born to lead, not to read. Exactly. Potatoes are evil. I thought she was one of the good potatoes, and now she's making me read. This is bullshit. <sighs> I'll Charlie in a true raid zone for warriors. One thing I am really curious is because it took me five hours to beat one side of that quest. Does that mean the other side's gonna take enough? Are we gonna get 10 hours into this game before we hit the first dungeon? <laughs> oh my god, the, we're gonna get like one dungeon in the 12 hour stream. I hope you guys are ready. <laughs> oh. Don't be silly, it could easily take more. You're so right. Oh, we're just going by brightly bright colors. Bright colors and sparkles. Perfect. The title on the spine reads The Story of Charlian. Long, long ago, on an island in the northern sea, there lived a Rodigan man by the name of Yunkrep. Yunkrep was a student of astrology, and he divined that a flood of terrifying proportions would soon sweep over the lands of Eorzea. So it was that he built a gigantic ship, assembled a crew, and set sail for the imperiled realm. The flood arrived as foretold, and to their horror, the strangely churning waters drove the people towards the ocean. It was there, however, that Nuncrep's crew hauled them aboard his ark, but the danger had not passed. A towering wave approached, threatening to smash the vehicle to pieces. With only moments to spare, Nuncrep wove a mighty spell of teleportation and shifted the entire ship to the safety atop Ablabatha's spine. Refugees from the surrounding regions huddled there alongside him, but it was not long before disputes over the dwindling supply of food led to violence and bloodshed. Saddened by the sight, Nuncrep gathered to him his crew and his grateful passengers and abandoned the Ark to those reddened peaks. They journeyed to the coast where they built a new ship, intent upon returning to the northern seas. They landed on the beach of an island and settled upon that very spot. The settlement prospered and grew, and in time it became the Charlian we live in to this day. Did the sound alert play? Huh. No sound. 
that's not good. Hmm. Hmm. It's like, we'll try tapping out. Was it just... because the sound alerts should work. Refresh cash a current page. All right, chat. Time to open. Time to go to the sound alerts website and see why it's not working. Dashboard. Well, because the ram squeak worked earlier. So is it just the channel point ones that aren't working? One sec. Okay. Uh, we're going to try test in browser space. Why is my browser source offline? Hello? It shouldn't be offline. Ugh. Maybe sound alerts is dead. Sometimes sound alerts itself just gets fucked up. If anyone's watching any other streams, do you know if um they're having issues too? Alright, OBS. Let's try... Let's try copy and pasting again. Um. Yeah, no, it's saying the browser source is online or offline. That's bullshit! My browser source is not offline! Ugh, why is sound alerts being fucking stupid? Yeah, because there's no reason sound alerts shouldn't stop. It's not working. also being weird though because it's not supposed to keep this like image up so maybe more maybe something is broken on my end hmm. oh that's so fucking annoying Suck. It's not my PC, it's sound alerts. Because it was working earlier, like people were literally managing to play things on stream. It hasn't played since I. Oh, when I restarted my. Oh. So I guess if I want sound alerts to work, I'm going to have to turn off my stop my stream and restart it. Which I don't think I want to do. So I think we'll just not have any sound alerts today. The other alerts work just fine. I think just the widgets are broken. Because, yeah, if people do bits or subs, it's still been showing them. Yeah, just pause all the sound alerts. 
Maybe put a little pinned message that says sound alerts are currently broken. I don't think it'll even let you try the bit alerts, though. Because the if the browser source is offline, can you check in my about section? The It just, like, it shouldn't even be open. Like, you shouldn't even be able to access the bits. Bit alerts are offline? Yeah. Okay, so we don't need to worry about a pinned message or anything. There just won't be sound alerts today. Sorry, everyone. Well, I'm not willing to restart stream just to get sound alerts working. Yeah, it's because I reset stream. Didn't lose any of my channel points. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's probably because it was broken. That's. I'm glad you didn't lose them. <laughs> That's good. There's a little fly in my room. I lost channel points. Oh no. Well, it sounds like it shouldn't have taken the channel points at all, weirdly enough. Hmm. All right. Yeah, it's because I restarted my computer. Or not my computer, I restarted my OBS and I guess it worked. GG, no re- I'm so sad we don't have any sound alerts. I had so many customized sound alerts for 14. No. Well, all the other alerts still work. Sobbing in the corner. Well, you can't have a ram squeak, but... I guess I can squeak from exercise or something? I don't fucking know. Anyways. Alright, ten squats, I guess. Oh. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. What do you mean, speaking of which? <laughs> All right, I'll BRB. There shouldn't be any cutscenes that need emote only for a while. Sounds good. Also, can one of the mods do the exercise as like a timer, maybe? All right. It's been a while since I've had a stream with no sound alerts. I don't know how I feel about it. Many years ago, on the banks of the Thaliac in the Dravanian hinterlands, the Charlian colony once thrived. This settlement was originally established as a mere outpost to study the ethereal sea in the year 1311 of the Sixth Astral Era. Scholars dispatched to Eorzea found the facilities wanting, and their demands encouraged a gradual expansion in structures and services. As rumors spread of a growing community of academics, the area was further inundated with Eorzean students, hoping to share in the renowned wisdom of the Charlians. Fifty years later, the Forum passed a motion to recognize what had become a flourishing town as an official Charlian colony. Eorzean residents took to calling the colony itself Charlian, which led to no small amount of confusion when discussions turned to the subject of the motherland. In response, some Charlian inhabitants, if pressed for a name, would simply refer to it as Emporium. Following the exodus, however, goblins and treasure hunters claimed for themselves a corner of the abandoned colony and gave it yet another name, Idleshire. Following chapters are Idleshire, blah blah blah. Alright. Time to find more books, chat. I can't believe they're forcing me to be literate. Who is this little guy? Hello? Look at the little robot chat, it's so cute! The Charlene music's really peaceful. The voice of a growing city. In the years which followed the founding of Charlene, civic policy and other matters of import were decided at the Ecclesia, a public forum, forum at which every citizen was eligible to speak. As the city's population grew, however, this format became increasingly impractical. The larger number of participants gave rise to ever longer debates, resulting in significant delays of vital resources. Various measures were introduced in an attempt to curtail protracted discussions, but in the year 201 of the Sixth Astral Era, it was ultimately decreed that Charlian would transition into a new form of governance. 
The nation would now be led by a body of 99 members, citizens chosen from amongst their peers by means of a nationwide vote. Thus was the forum as we know it today conceived and created. Have you ever gazed at the skies above and contemplated the mysteries contained therein? I speak not of shifting cloud patterns, but of the vastness beyond, of the sun and the twinkling tapestry of the night. Some think the dome above us to be a finite space, yet amongst the leading thinkers of our age, one scholar's depiction of a boundless sea of stars has firmly taken root. Alas, this heavenly sea remains an unreachable, unknowable destination. There are few indeed who can explain in satisfactory detail why our own star is believed to revolve around the sun. It was the technologists of Alag who came closest to understanding the laws which govern the starry abyss. It was they who launched Alamud and sought to expand beyond our earthbound existence. Having read of their ancient ambitions, I wonder, has your interest in this field of study waxed or waned? What if I were to tell you that the eternal constellations were arranged differently in the distant past? That their positions continue to shift almost imperceptibly, but measurably as we journey into the future? Would it shock you to learn that the stars drift further and further apart and may indeed do so forever? Are you eager to learn more? Ooh. Forever 20 summers. My beloved seekers of knowledge, have you ever put learning before your health and neglected to feed and rest your body as you should? Yes. Fantasy worlds and cities look so much cooler than real life. I want to live in a place like that, but with all the conveniences of modern day, same. That's why I really like solar punk aesthetic stuff, where it's like all greenery and stuff, but still modern society. I wonder if they're Eorzea flat, -er flat earthers. <laughs> I too once engaged in such foolish practices. But one night, engrossed in philosophical study, I had an epiphany. For all the world's mysteries that drive us to reckless abandon, we have so very few life, years of life in which to achieve our goals. Thus do I share with you this mantra, I am forever twenty summers young. The number itself is unimportant, you could be nineteen, or twenty-three, or forty. Whatever age you are when you discover this manual, let that be the age you aspire to remain. Through mindful, healthy living, will you extend the time available to spend upon your chosen research? Another day, another moon, another summer to grasp the greater truths you pursue. In the passages that follow, we will explore the secrets of maintaining one's physical condition from a biological, ethereological, and arcane viewpoint. Oh, neat. Have you been inside, Ramaya? I've been good. How about you, Luneth? I like fantasy more than cyberpunk. Never heard of solar punk? Looks like the futuristic coolness of cyberpunk minus the corporate dystopia. Yeah, it's a lot greener. Stewards of Wisdom. This sounds like History of Charlian. During the chaos of the sixth umbral calamity, Archon Yunkep, founder of Charlian, bore witness to the madness and savagery of men brought to the brink of despair. Upon raising a settlement on an island in the northern empty, he had instructed his people thus. Renounce the ways of war and pursue enlightenment through knowledge and reason. The Charlians took to heart the words of their savior and thenceforth served as stewards of wisdom. Upon a foundation of accumulated learning, they built a homeland unlike any other, a nation born from strength of minds rather than strength of arms. With knowledge of economics came shrewd trading, with knowledge of agriculture came bountiful crops, engineering brought wells and sewers, ending squabbles over war. Wealth of expertise could be bartered for wealth in coins, and the more their wisdom thrive, spread through the world, the more mankind as a whole would thrive. And so it was that no matter the trials and tribulations of the age, the citizens of Charlian would live by their founder's teachings. For the sake of a better tomorrow, for the sake of a brighter star, they would eschew the tools of war and with knowledge deliver the world. Neat. How'd you pronounce Lieutenant? Solarpunk looks really interesting. I really like the aesthetic of Solarpunk. Oh, and they leave all the books light lit up so you can read more if you want. 
I've already read all of them, though. Oh, uh, it, when it let me jump up here, I was like, wait, 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 no, 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 it's a joke, it's a joke, it's a joke. I thought it was gonna let me jump down. I had a brief moment of just like, no, 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 no. I pronounce Ensign right, too. <sighs> For how far you can fall, one of... <laughs> Look how far you can fall, one of floor tank it? Surprisingly, no. Just break my ankles, you know? Sorry, were you waiting long? <gasps> it's my boy! It's my boy! Wanted to make sure I'd borrowed at least a few promising volumes. Alfino and Kryle should be along shortly. I was delayed in a similar fashion. As far as I could see, no titles in the Archon stacks mentioned the final days specifically. So we have no choice but to start with the tangentially relevant tomes, if they are even that. <laughs> Thank you for the head pats. At present, the plan is to skim through as quickly as we dare and share our discoveries as we make them. Would have been nice to invite everyone to the estate. Plenty of comfortable places to read and a ready supply of hot tea. Oh, I was always quite fond of reading outside. But it's not about the little pleasures, is it? You miss your home. It's been difficult. After our arrival, we managed to speak with one of the family servants and ask how things were. It seems our dear father has instructed the staff that even if Alfino and I were to return to Charlian, we would not be allowed to ac across the threshold. Their dad's such a dick. Fuck their dad. Oh, I would love Graha stuff. A harsh measure indeed. I hope our efforts to understand his position and that of the forum will perhaps lead to a reconciliation. We'll mend this rift one day, I'm certain of it. And what of you, Graha? Have you been to visit your family, or do they not live here in this- I forgot that now that he's young again, he might actually have, like, family and friends. Ah, well, my situation is also somewhat complicated. I was raised in Charlian, yes, but I was born rather further away. I would love Graha's staff. Listen, I, I meant the staff on his back, but you know what? <laughs> In the southern reaches of Il Isabard, in fact, for generations my people have dwelt in Corvos, the coastal region opposite the islands of Thavnair. The Alicans founded the city in that fertile land and by ship brought in the subjugated tribes of the Mikot to serve as laborers. Of course, the massive earthquakes of the fourth umbral calamity brought to an end the Empire's reign, and when the fifth calamity froze the seas solid, many of the tribes still living in Corvos braved the journey back to Eorzea. My ancestors, however, chose to remain that they might prevent the remnants of Allegan technology from being misused. Neat. Isn't Corvos under Garlean rule? Mm-hmm. For the past 50 years, yes, some semblance of local culture remains, as is the case for most Imperial provinces, but Garlemald renamed the region Locus Ammonius. When I was a boy, a nearby town came under the jurisdiction of an illustrious Imperial family, the nobles of House Darnus. Do I know that name? House Darnus demonstrated a singular interest in Algan civilization, and so my tribe was forced to consider a plan of action. For some time already, voices had been raised in favor of abandoning our ancient customs. After all, the Algan eye no longer passed to our eldest children as reliably as it once had. Fear of discovery eventually tipped the scales, and a decision was made to bury our ties to the knowledge and traditions of Alec. One who started Meteor? Oh, okay. As the last child born with the Alligan Eye, I was given over to the custody of friends and the students of Baldessian, who had me registered as a Charlian citizen. I'd never considered. Forgive me, it was an unkind question. Even Thancred was taken in by Archon Le Louisois, was he not? Stories of adopted waves and rescued orphans are more common amongst Charlians than you might think. Charlians seem to be like, yeah, this one seems smart, or this one catches my fancy, we'll just raise them. Yet regardless of our origins, we are all provided with an equal opportunity to learn, and with sufficient perspective or perspicacity? Sir bleh, perspicacity. Perspicacity. I've never seen that word before. We outsiders can even earn the vaulted title of Archon. Ah, thank you for adding. Yeah. 
Tis exactly why I have such a love for this country and why I wish it to remain a nation of which its citizens can be proud. Hear, hear! Another good reason to get to the bottom of the forum's stubbornness, aside from the trifling matter of our impending doom. Excuse us while we try to make some headway into these books, Ramaya. More companies should be arriving any moment now. Fine. I'll put down my Graha pillow. I love you! Flying carpets. Interesting. Ba -da -ba 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 -da. <sighs> Andy, hello. How's it going? Can we get a shout out for Nightmare Detective? Another wonderful streamer. Eldridge Horror with a man... With a man voice? A man with a nice voice. <laughs> I listen, I've been streaming for five and a half hours. <laughs> I have a man voice. Hi. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. It's I'm listen. Shush. <laughs> Go check him out. Uh, what's the question? Hope you're doing well. One second behind of the shout out. Not even halfway there. Work. Living on a prayer. Thank you for the headbats, Yowlets. The Delulu will only get worse. <gasps> oh my god, I'm... Yeah, yeah, this is gonna do great. We're Listen, in half an hour, we'll be halfway through the stream. What server are you on? I am currently on Goblin. We've returned with our selections. Although I must say, the pickings were quite slim indeed. Mistress Kryl has already flicked through every history book devoted to disasters, and more than a few which barely made mention of them. Zeno, thank you for clipping the man voice. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Are you playing, ND? Reinstalled 14 might be back in the next few days. Hell yeah! I'm having so much fun. I, as shown by the fact that I was like, fuck it. You mean 51 minutes, right? No, just because I had to restart my stream like 40 minutes in. Shush. Actually, no. In 11 minutes, it'll be the halfway point. Listen, that first 40 minutes of stream still counts towards the 12 hour. As such, we'll be looking into research papers on the Elbrook calamities, as well as articles written by far prominent forum members. Perhaps their knowledge of the final days comes from an unexpected source. Speaking of which, might I ask you a few questions related to the final days? Why is everyone coming into my server? Listen! So that they can make Goblin these nuts jokes. I'm the only one here who didn't witness the events of Amarat firsthand. And I fear I may be overlooking critical details. My thanks. Now where to begin? First things first. What kind of phenomena do the ancients encounter as the final dra days drew nigh? Oh, so this is going to be a really good lore recap. Mm. I've been on Belmung since day one. I can add some style to your server. Ah! Are you on Belmung because of the Belmung quicksands, Endy? That, that's why you're on Belmung, isn't it? Isn't it, Endy? I know the truth. I see you. <laughs> Shut up, you don't know me. The fact that you... Mm -mm -mm. The fact that you so immediately knew exactly what I was talking about. Uh-huh, I believe you. The other places? What other places? Hmm. Okay, a complete destabilization of creation magics, primal of unraveled power, were summoned from the Aether, the worst kind of phenomenon you could imagine. Were the creation magics destabilized? Because I know... I, I can't remember what caused the original calamity that they made Zodiac for. Because they made Zodiac and Hydaelyn, which would be this part. So I think it's probably that. We're going to do this one. Ah, 
Ahem. Ch shut up! <laughs> shut up, Alphino! Shut up! Shut up! Fuck you. I had a 50-50 shot. Fuck you. <laughs> For speaking of phenomenon caused by the final days, the chaos of creation magics run rampant and is what first comes to mind. Fear and despair manifested in terrible, tangible fashion. Meteors raining from the sky, fires erupting from the ground, indescribable abominations prowling the seats. Or the streets. Can't sell fish and can't do history? Shh, listen, it's been a while since I played. Really went fum, full um, actually. Alfino, this is why people bully you. This is why you get shoved into lockers. That more or less aligns with my understanding. If only the arts of creation had survived until the present day, we might have had something substantial to analyze. Oh, do you think the Charlians might be fucking around with the magics of creation? Because they're very specifically talking about this. Oh, you are making me do a French accent while I am attempting to do some lore. Hello, Lucerne. I hope you are having an amazing night. Hello, hello. No experience? What do you mean? <laughs> and that makes me curious. The fact that she specifically has the line... Oh, I wish that we knew... I wish that we had access to creation magics. I'm like, hmm. Maybe Charlie and knows something out of experience. <laughs> oh, one sec. I have something in my eye. Let me know when the French accent is over. Nyaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
I'm back and I have bubble tea. Let's go. <laughs> Passion fruit green tea with lychee pearls. Shut up, we're focusing. <gasps> Well, Schwartz, since I don't see your name up here, aside from once, you're not focusing very well, are you? to 14 <laughs> to the best of our knowledge however those techniques were not preserved or passed on Yastola surmises that the closest known magic is that of the summoning rituals promulgated by the Asians. I think Charlian knows something about this creation magic was there aught else of note which heralded the approach of the final days I'm pretty sure it was they said it began with a keening sound from the land itself. Right? Ah, yes. The Amorotines spoke of it, didn't they? We never did hear the sound ourselves, of course, thrust as we were into the midst of the madness. But it seems that each and every one of the catastrophes was pre preceded by this ominous noise. Eventually it resounded all across the star, and not even Amorot was spared. So the ground was crying out, you say? To be considered the harbinger of doom, it must have been quite distinctive and quite loud. I'll have to speak with one of Noman's manners and ask after any books which make mention of such a sound. Last but not least, would you des describe how the ancients sought to quell this unprecedented calamity? What definitive action did they take? So this is a really good way to, like, recap. Hi, Lone Wolf. They summoned Zodiark.
Yes, with a little bit serving as his heart. Somebody gave themselves in sacrifice to bring him into being. We do not know exactly how Zodiac bar brought salvation to the star, only that by his godlike will were the laws of nature set all right. Wish I could play it, only compatible with Xbox, fair. Then once the balance was addressed, the ancients offered up a further sacrifice to heal the ravages of the final days. Lives sprouted anew, and it was these fledgling souls they intended to render unto Zodiac, a trade that would have allowed them to resurrect the shades of loved ones absorbed by the primal. Or might have had Venat and her fellows not manifested their opposition in the form of Heidelin. Oh, so they were going to sacrifice all the new lives to bring back the old ones. Thank you, both of you, for the detailed review. I feel much more confident now in my understanding of events. With all that freshly in my mind, it does make me wonder what the Telefroth tell Offeri what they truly mean when they speak of bringing back the final days. We've seen what they're doing with the towers of theirs. Is forcing people to summon primals a catalyst? Are they attempting to mirror the condition caused by unstable creation magics? What level are you? Uh, 82. Or are they simply using the final days as figure of speech? A convenient metaphor for the scale of destruction they plan to unleash. Ah, but this is all pointless conjecture at this stage. Let us return to our attention to the forum, shall we? Should keep an eye out for Yshtola, but tis time we began studying these research papers. I'm just sitting here like, y'all read. Enjoy reading. I will not be reading. Yashtola, where are you? Can we get some hearts in chat for Master Midnight? This bubble tea hit the spot. It's so nice. Oh, there she is, my queen. I'm the last, am I? Well, my extended search of the Archon stacks produced one or two possibly useful books. But I wouldn't get your hopes up. If you recall, Orion J of the Source's Reflection, or learned of the Source's Reflections from the Geron Oracles, for its potential to cause panic and confusion, that tome was deemed apocrypha and sealed away in the Great Google Library. Tis even less likely that knowledge of the unsundered world, not to mention the horrors of the final days, would be left sitting on the shelf for any curious scholar to find. It stands to reason that my colleagues, be they archons or counselors, should perforce, perforce be largely ignorant of the subject. Yet, when you confronted Master Fortuno with knowledge of the Telafra and their machinations, he scoffed at the suggestions that they posed a threat. He seemed adamant that the Forum would know if the final days were truly upon us, which only supports the conclusion that whatever privileged wisdom is guiding the Forum's behavior is being kept secret from the rest of the nation. Yep. That seems on brand. <clears throat> Not that I mean to excuse myself from reading duty. Whether they contain mention of the final days or no, these books could yet hold something of value. You weren't thinking of leaving, were you? There's plenty of work for everyone. I wanted to- I, I was thinking of leaving. Ma'am, please. Please, I'm too stupid for this. You don't want me doing research, please. <laughs> oh, I don't want to do research. You labor for what feels like an age as Yashtola's research assistant. Book report time. No! Thank you for your help. I think I can manage the rest without your assistance. If I were you, I'd steal a few quiet moments for myself. Oh dear, you look exhausted. But what about your studies? Were you able to find any books on the subject I mentioned? Then the day was well spent. Should you wish to read them again, a mammoth at the reference desk will point in the right direction. For the moment, though, I suggest you take a well-deserved rest. We might be occupied with our research for quite some time. Should I use the horse chestnut gear, or was my current gear better than it? Because I have the chest, the shoes, the gloves, and the weapon. Hi, dipshittiot. How's it going? I hope you're doing well. Because, hmm. yeah, I have... My current stuff's 520. We wiggle with our buddies, but now it's time to study. <laughs> Suppose these are 510, while these... 
550. That's only five levels higher. Pin no, Pinky, no, bad, bad, bad. These are horse chestnut. No. 